Make no mistake. I'm a sociopath. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. And they were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state. And I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door and boom. Shot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in. Floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm moving, again. City, county, state, all the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Yeah. So then my friend got the DLC. This downloadable content. It's like ten dollars. Like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know. Uh... What, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh. Well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did... Did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, oh. ah, nice rolly backpack, you fucking hey. four-eyed, double-dick-sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials! Oh yeah? Like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for like an anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair. Oh, I broke his glasses. I got a split. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Why aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for like an anime since the sixth grade. 
then just stop liking anime. But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait! Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you look... What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga book. Japanese manga book? That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. They're not backwards. They just read right to left. No one cares. I care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. Like... Naru Party 13? He's got 1,600 subscribers. Do you have that many? Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How else do you think videos get there? It's for watching TV shows. You don't fucking participate in it. What, am I going to go on YouTube and get digitally molested? No, it... <laughs> You're going to transform? Whatever, everything's fine. My mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. The most notable thing you could do is killing yourself before graduation. Then your dad can cry in front of school assemblies next to a black and white photo of you. What? No? Little bitch. <laughs> I'm straight! So hey, you're like, pretty cool. What's your name? Well, my last name's Yu. Most people just call me that. You? What is it, like Asian? That's hot. Yeah, Grandma had yellow fever. Cool, yeah. So what's your first name? Fuck. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Nicole! You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like... Waking up in general hurts, and I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed?
Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha-ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you... you can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on, what's age? Look at you, you're mature enough. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to fuck! Honey, quiet down there, I need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass! Oh my god, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Were you really grabbing some minor ass? Minor is in underage? I think my ass is pretty major, to be honest. I've been at this school for 15 years. No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I knew installing those spy ca security cameras would screw me over. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. My mom was like, oh, it's hush money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly this much. Who needs morals when you have designer? I guess, yeah. So what's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty girl. About? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why do girls say they like older men? You're just as boring as younger men. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'll prove it, too. Hang up by the back entrance, and I'll pick you up after school. You have money to spend on me, right? Like, at least a couple hundred? Oh, I got more than a couple hundred. Like, 370. Shit, I'm just a kid. That's a lot for me. Let's do it. Sounds like a date, sexy. Can I call you sexy? I mean, the news would call me a victim, but what do they know, right? Anyway, I'll see you tonight, man. Nicole, Nicole, could you call me Coach? See you tonight, Coach. So, uh, how's your drink so far? My non-alcoholic Sprite is just wonderful. This date kind of sucks so far. Could you get me high or something? You want a sip of my screwdriver? Sure, thanks. Can I have some more? Some more? Sure, how many? How many sips would equal four glasses? I can't have you stumbling out of here wasted. People would start suspecting something. I'm one-third your age. That ship's sail, coach. I know. It's such a rush. You feeling it, too? Um, sure. So can I have money? Not so fast, sexy. I was thinking you could come back to my place to collect. Yeah, coach, I'm down. Good girl. Just so you know, you're gonna have to earn it. Do whatever you want. The money outweighs the trauma. Come on, sexy. Let's get out of here. After you, coach. I came to this new school with the full intention of fucking around. Life was hopeless, so sleeping with my gym teacher was just a drop in the bucket. You could say the major mistake was going home with a stranger, but honestly, most strangers are fine as long as they're not into necrophilia. The second I stepped in, he locked the door behind us, grabbing my neck and squeezing really fucking tight. The last thing I remember was the rush in his eyes while the life slipped from mine. I didn't know her that well, but tell Jekka she's cool for me. As for my family, they can fuck off and burn in hell with me. See you soon, Dad. Fuck yeah, I'll go home with you. You just turned an A for the year, young lady. Hey, why don't you put your hand on my thigh? Give me a preview. I bet the skin on him's smooth and 
tight. Everything's tight when you're 16. Oh, that's nice. Of all the students I've dated, you're my favorite. Ah, get your hand off my leg! Help! Stop! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Sir, back away from the girl. What's the problem here? This is my gym teacher. He just started getting all sexual out of nowhere. Is this true, sir? No, well, well yes, but... Uh, they have the gym teachers do sexual education now. What's eating ass have to do with sexual education? Oh, oh yeah. Is that true? Did you tell her to eat your ass out? No, I wanted to eat hers. I, I mean, uh... Sorry, officer. That was just a false alarm. Oh, thank God. He just said he wanted to come all over me. No big deal, right, coach? What? Well, coach, the only place you're coming is downtown. You fucking bitch! I'll, I'll kill you and, you and your whole family, too! Hey, man, I got you arrested. You don't gotta do me that favor. Well, are you gonna tell me? Tell you what? You know what. Everyone's texting about what happened at the barcade yesterday. That's what they call those places? Men will invent any phrase to make their video games less embarrassing. So it is true. What happened? Did Coach promise you a good grade or something? First of all, how does anyone even know I was there? I didn't file any charges. Some guy who goes here snapped a picture of you at the table with him. Wow, a real vigilante. No, he just does that for his private collection of girls who go here. You getting caught with a gym teacher on camera was pure coincidence. Okay, well, I kind of baited him into harassing me. Nicole, that's fucked up. What if you get harassed for real one day and no one believes you because of that? Oh yeah, I guess a date with your high school gym teacher was a perfectly fine situation. I'll leave it alone next time, thanks. Okay, point taken, bitch. So what, he groped you and someone saw, or...? Well, no, I told him to grope me and just screamed. Oh my god, so that was premeditated on your part. Mostly. So why'd you even go out with him in the first place if you knew it'd just end in a shit show? You know... Don't have a great answer for that. I just did it because I could. The more I thought about it, the more leverage I knew I had. But he's twice your size. He could have killed you. Yeah, but not when other people were around. The second he decided to date a minor, he lost the game of life. Now he's in jail, lost his job, most of his friends. If he had a family, they'd probably bail too. And if someone tries to put the blame on the minor, they look... Like a monster, exactly. Susan B. Anthony or whoever the fuck got women this far, but I got it from here. Hey man, I love to catch an R, but I got homework. It's a weeknight, you know? Nah, uh, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexy student get away now. Oh my god, you're so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, sorry it didn't work out. If your BMI is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up. Who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Oh, sorry. I didn't know dodgeball was a long-term goal for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long-term goal for me, huh? I'd feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. Uh... Sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. Man, you're honest too? That's kind of hot. Hey, do you wanna, wanna like, hang out later? Like, hang out where? Oh, you know, my place maybe? I got this really cool stereo. Your dad bought a really cool stereo? That's cool. So, so are you down? I guess, sure. When do I come by? Any time tonight, my parents are out of town trying to find a boarding school to put me in. Sound good? Yeah, I'll swing by. Sweet, you're down to fucking everything. This is gonna rock. Well, no, the only thing down is my serotonin levels. What's serotonin? Is that like printer ink? I yes, I'll go. Now stop talking to me. But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit. But kind of that step away from the regular cool shit, like just doing my own thing, you know? All I asked was, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? Whatever, you know, stuff at school, just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse, maybe?
Does lacrosse involve beating the shit out of that one kid? What one kid? The one who likes Japan a lot, Jeffrey. What? Oh yeah, totally. Me and the other guys fuck with his ass all the time. Yeah, how many fingers? Not like that. Just throwing lacrosse balls at him and watching him chump. Nice. Yeah, him suffering just makes me feel good for some reason. Yeah, that's hot. Speaking of that, you know that one girl, Jekka? I, I can't remember her last name. I know her. She dresses really expensive and everything. She's cool. Yeah, cool, like in a stuck-up bitch way. What'd she do to you? Nothing. But girls with that sort of attitude? I don't know. Like, I want to have sex with her to knock her down a few pegs. What the fuck is wrong with you? How is that wrong? Whatever. All men are rapists anyway. You're just a drop in the bucket. Is there even money in lacrosse? Well, the pizza party after games is like $80 or something. No, like memorabilia, autographs, anything? Well, my regional trophy is made of gold, so pretty valuable. I tapped it on the way in here. Pretty sure it's plastic. I guess the paint's made of real gold then. Does anyone famous play lacrosse? Have a signed ball or something? The greatest lacrosse player of this era is probably Cody Simpson, but I lost one of his signed jerseys last year. It was worth so much. Oh wow, for real? How much are we talking? Dude, bro, like $90? So there's no money in playing it, no money collecting it. What's the point? That's kinda what makes lacrosse so awesome. It's not about the money or commercials. The true payment comes in honor. Girls so dig honor. Honor won't pay for my new outfits. How do you buy into any of this shit? Who cares? Uh, do you listen to music? Or is it just Eye of the Tiger pregame playlists? Yeah, I like music. I like bands, guitars, and drums. Yep, that about covers it. What bands specifically? You know, the Midnight Supernova. Who the fuck are the Midnight Supernova? When did they start? Like, just now, because I just made it up? Someone who cares would awkwardly try to continue this conversation, but I don't. Wow, it's like, it's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot, I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? You want to try, like, going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You want a date? Uh, how does hell no sound? What? The 20 minutes I've been here is already way more than I could chew. You don't think athletes are emotional? We could be deep. It's not that you're an athlete. You're a lacrosse player. There's no offhand chance I miss out on a millionaire husband. Literally no one gives a shit about lacrosse but the people who play it. That's not true. My dad likes lacrosse. And did he play it? Yeah, but not right now. Are you pretending to be stupid? There's like no way. This is some big joke, right? No, I, I wouldn't pull a joke on you. I I'm just stupid. Totally retarded. You ever heard that one phrase, we can either choose intelligence or happiness? Um, no. Well, assuming it's real, I don't feel bad telling you to never talk to me again. Your dipshit brain shouldn't take it too hard. N no. You don't- you don't understand. You're not. Are you crying? It's just... No. You're being mean to me. Whoa, hey, um, don't... you know. Maybe Coach was right. Um... Sorry? No, it's whatever. I'll just go to the cross convention alone this weekend. That's why I wanted a girlfriend, I guess. Oh, you're going alone? I guess. Whatever. This is awkward. I'll just jump off the roof so I have a good excuse not to go. Ugh. Do you want me to go to the lacrosse convention with you? Y you would do that? I guess. Oh, cool. I'll pick you up this weekend. Thanks. Can I get some Percocet for going? Oh, yeah. My prescription's on the dresser. Just take it when you walk out. I guess I'm walking out now then. No. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Sorry, but I'm too smart to date you. How am I not smart enough? How? Do you see this room? What, because I like sports? We're not all dumb jocks, you know? Who cares if you like sports? You're just boring. Like, yeah, your coach gives you free Percocet and everything, but how does that make you cool? So, 
what do I do? Impress me or die trying. So if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? No, isn't... Look, I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. Oh. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like, I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Aw, if I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Awesome! I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. So, I can go now? Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. You want my key? Like, to my house? Why would I want a key to your house? Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it, take my key. Okay. Him? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm just kidding, I know what's wrong with him. But like, you went over to his house. He's a total jock. You know what jocks do. Get molested by their coach? Yeah, and then they take it out on you. When he got you a drink. Did you watch him pour it? He never got me a drink. Well, no drink? Did he offer a drink? Did not offer a drink. What a fucking asshole. See, they're all like this, too. At least I didn't get drugged. I'd rather get drugged than not offered a drink. You know, what's fun about us is our priorities are drastically different. So anything else from last night? Yeah, he really wants me to be his girlfriend, but you know. He has the temper problem, right? How'd you turn him down gently? I didn't turn him down. I challenged him to win me over. Under the assumption there's some chance I could like him. But in reality, there's no chance? None. Well, good luck with that. Do you want my number in case he revenge kidnaps you? I think I already have your number. But yes, the rumors were true. Your beloved gym teacher, Coach Colby, was having illicit relationships with some of your classmates. Rock on, Coach! Carla. <laughs> anyway, his position of gym teacher has been terminated and will be replaced by next week. If any students had unfortunate run-ins with this behavior, my office is always open to talk about it. Yeah, I was in his class, and he always wanted to try and guess what kind of underwear we had on. Oh, I remember that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Both of you. Well, no, the fucked up part was he always guessed it right. It's like he was psychic. Or spying on you. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Uh, cause I'm a victim of that psycho. You too? Uh, yeah, he, he like locked me in his office and did things. Like what? Now, Kyler, you should know it's disrespectful of your classmate to ask the details of her sexual assault. I mean, I kinda wanna hear. Class dismissed. <laughs> Everyone out but Nicole. I'd like to have a word with you. Can we fast forward this to the part where you tell me I'm not alone so I can leave? Well, I wouldn't give any old lecture to you, Nicole. One of our brightest students deserves better. I have a C-plus average. Not to mention beautiful. I just love to see you whimsically stroll up and down the hallways between classes. Is this happening right now? Nicole, how would you feel about participating in some extracurricular learning exercises? Will I learn how to exercise my right to say no? Now, now, be serious. My car's nearby in the staff parking lot. I have the key fob which starts the air conditioning remotely. Oh, well now you're winning me over. How about it? I could help you with your homework using the faculty answer keys. And I can tell you have many ways of repaying me just by looking at you. Help! You got another guy trying to date minors in here! Okay, calm down! Forget I said anything! Dude, you can't get rejected and then pretend you didn't ask me out. Quick! Principal Lynn! Anyone? What is going on in here? Nicole, why are you screaming? He literally just invited me over to fuck. Excuse me, is this true? Uh, well, I didn't use the F word. It's like every week now. Security! Yes, Principal? Arrest this man for criminal misconduct. Now let's remain reasonable here. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against fuck! you. And 
No! This is all your fault, you fucking whore! Wow, that was mean. He also threatened to kill me if I didn't have sex with him, so throw that somewhere in the charges. Come with me. No, don't! Don't listen to her! Bring the car around front. What's happening? Why is the counselor in handcuffs? What the fuck is everyone out here for? Today was the school bake sale. Apparently, you picked the worst day to ask a student out. Oh my god, another pedophile. Tell me about it. Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant male authority figures. <laughs> oh, um, well, th that's no excuse. Class dismissed. Except for you, Nicole. Huh, bitch, sucks to be you. Sucks to like lacrosse, you fucking field hockey reject. Now that your classmates are gone, you want to get out of here with me? I'm sorry, what? Don't play naive, Nicole. I saw the way you looked at me. I've seen the way you've been looking at me since you got to this school. Your dominant male authority figures here to take you away. Oh. So you're, like, actually going for it. As the counselor, I could sign you out early. We could spend the rest of the afternoon together. The evening, too. You know I'm 16, right? Age is just a number. Hmm. Well, I guess saying that makes you just a pedophile, so what's the worst that could happen? See, there's that open-mindedness our program really tries to promote. Yeah, and believe me, your mind's gotta be wide open to date your guidance counselor. Like, your brain won't even fit. <laughs> Such a funny girl. Come with me. This way, Nicole. Hey, it's our counselor! Could we interest you in some homemade cake? Five dollars! What is this? Fine, okay, four dollars. Why is everyone out here? You work here and didn't know the school bake sales today? So you knew and let us go this way anyway? Were you guys just leaving together? Did the new girl get suspended or something? No, actually, he was taking me out on a date. Nicole! Up here! How'd he get on the roof? <gasps> what? You want it not boring? Well, you got it. I'm gonna jump! Oh, oh shit! Oh, what's going on? What is this? Kyler! Get down from there now! Oh, I will. I'm gonna jump! For you, Nicole! Holy shit! Oh my God. What the Are you serious right now? You said you wanted someone not boring, so I'm gonna stick the ultimate landing! You told him to do this? Well, first I told him to fuck off, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. One girl isn't worth the rest of your life. Don't kill yourself! I'm not! If I stick the landing, I won't be hurt at all! Saw it on my space! Oh my god, stop him, Nicole. Why? He's got it figured out. I can't have two pedophile arrests and a student attempting suicide in one week. Really need to keep this job. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What? If you jump, I'll be your girlfriend for sure. I never thought you were serious about this. I am. I love you more than lacrosse. And if we're still together in two years, I'll marry you after graduation. <gasps> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, sick. Here goes nothing! Oh, he really oh, jumped! Oh, 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 Ow. Oh my god. Oh shit! My legs are in pieces! Somebody call 911! Somebody already did. Step aside. I'll have to call his parents. How severe is it? I'm no doctor, but I don't think he'll ever walk again. What? Let's go. But lacrosse! Will you be able to play lacrosse? Well, if you can't walk. Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! What? I'm right here. It's fucked up, but I don't think I'll be able to support us as a pro lacrosse player anymore. That was the plan? But it doesn't mean anything. We'll figure it out together. Right? Sorry, I only date men who can walk. What? But I did all this for you! I didn't ask for all this. But now I, c I can't walk! Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> all right, go! Nicole, do you need to talk? About what? How men do stupid shit for you when you're pretty? Well, I've been there too, but okay, you're fine. Uh, 
Kind of. Probably. Sure, yeah. As long as I have you, I'll be okay. All right, go. So what do you tell him? I gave a very loose yes to being his girlfriend. That should keep him stable in whatever mental ward they ship him off to. Nicole, uh, is there anything you learned today? That men will do literally anything for sex? But honestly, I learned that years ago. So if you knew that, why did you actively encourage him in the first place? I wanted to see what literally anything looked like. Hmm. You're smarter than I was at your age. Duh, I have internet. Of course. So the school's probably shut down for the rest of the day. Where are you headed? Do I even have to ask? Ask what? You know what. Oh yeah, the school security guard's single. Go for it, Mom. Not that! I didn't fucking do anything! A boy jumped off a building to prove his love to you. You had to have done something. This is like the third time now. Did you egg him on? No. Not really, maybe. Of course. Okay, this shouldn't even be the main issue today. The school counselor tried having sex with me. You expect me to believe that? A boy literally kills himself the same day a teacher molests you? You must be the least lucky girl on earth. Uh, yeah, I am. And he didn't even kill himself. He's fine in the hospital. I just got off the phone with your principal, and he was pronounced dead 20 minutes ago. What? How? It was just his legs. His pelvis shattered into his intestines. He internally bled out. Oh, my God. Is it finally setting in? Yeah. I forgot to go to his house and steal his Percocet. His parents probably threw it out by now. Ugh. <sighs> you better hope they don't sue us over this. really glad I let him give me that key now. If he's in the hospital for a month, he won't be missing any of his shit. Oh my god, there's enough Percocet here to get surgery awake. I'm snagging all of this. How many milligrams to just stop feeling emotions in general? Yeah, so I went a little crazy the first week of having an endless supply of opioids. Mom found me strung out on the bedroom floor and called 911 to get my stomach pumped. Now I'm in rehab against my will. I wish they had rehab for not ugly people, because all these toothless meth heads keep hitting on me. At first I thought it'd be fun because you get away from school, but they have a fucking tutor here. It's bullshit. I'm gonna hang myself tonight. Just kidding. Not really, though. Hey, I gotta be honest, I don't really give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Really? Yeah, really, cause like- Cause you love me for me! You don't need some wild display of courage to be my girlfriend! No, actually, I'm just not gonna be your girlfriend either way. You had zero chance from the start if it makes you feel any better. What? No! Why did you say that? No, Kyler, it's okay. Just take some deep breaths, Back off from the ledge! All I deserve is a deep plunge! You did this, Nicole! Oh, God. <laughs> what was that 90s TV show? Did I do that? I'm traumatized right now, but that was actually pretty good. How can you girls make jokes at a time like this? Your classmate just took his life. Yeah, you were about to take me out on a date. Fuck off, pedophile. Pedophile? Was this boy molested to the point of suicide? No, it's just our guidance counselor trying to molest me. No big deal. Well, I should alert the police. Already here. Yeah, this place is wild after that. I can't even understand how it happened. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I can tell you. Bye. What the fuck was that? Hey, anime kid, do you know- ah, I'm sorry, I'll go! Why? There you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? Uh, the only word on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. My god, don't get defensive, I'm on your side like half the girls are. Why? How- he didn't even know me. Exactly. All he liked you for was looks, meaning you're pretty enough that a boy would literally die for you. It's like awesome, I wanna be you. What's your secret? 
Secret? It's... I just told them to work for it. That's it. Yeah, I tell guys that too. They aren't jumping off buildings for me. This is so not what I thought would happen after this. So many girls are just happy over this. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like, honestly, fuck him. He was an asshole. The world's better off. I don't disagree with you. Hi, Nicole. Uh, could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. Uh, we're kind of best friends, by the way. Oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. If you're okay with that. It's a free police state. Do what you want. Awesome, thanks. Bye. You saw that. Yeah. You gotta do something with this. Get famous with it. Like, you could be one of those famous YouTube girls. Hey guys, I'm so hot boys kill themselves over me. I was with you on everything except famous. You don't want to be famous? No, just no one on YouTube's famous famous. Well, I know that. Just like YouTube famous. Come on. All right. But I don't have a camera or anything. We'll just record it at my house. I have a Mac and everything. You want to just skip right now and do that? Fucking of course. Let's go. Eight months later, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. The first video we did went viral in like a week. All these news stations were calling for an interview, schools wanted me to do assemblies. Oh, and a million sponsorships. For companies I don't even like, but they pay, so whatever. I was definitely right about YouTube fame, because I tried hanging out with the guy who played McLovin, and he just ignored every text. Well, hold on. I might have a way easier idea here. Okay, let's see it. Call over the weird nerdy kid. Jeffrey, can you help me hold my books? Huh? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Where's the books? Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, Nicole. Hi there. What's wrong, Jeffrey? Just looking for a new friend to chat with. Am I no good? Uh, no, you're fine. It's just, uh, I'm afraid of you. Afraid you'll use your emotional prowess to manipulate me into killing myself. Is that what those bullies are saying? Yes, you'd be correct. Well, guess what? What? They're right! Ah. You don't want to fall in love with me, do you? Yes! I mean, no, I mean, I, I don't know! You're a smart boy, right? Let's make a deal. You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself! Really? You do that for me? I never thought a girl would be this nice to me. Say yes before I change my mind. Uh, of course. I'll get right on it. Uh, see you tomorrow. I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. But seriously, is it like your whole emo look they're into, or what? Yeah, long flowing ponytail. Very emo. So, he stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. I'm valedictorian for the class of 09. He was still doing all that homework even after everyone stopped caring about the suicide, which was like a month, so Jeffrey's an outlier. For my speech, I just read quotes from an AA brochure and people ate it up. Special thanks to lacrosse. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, Doc? No, it's just this general, ha-ha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Try me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Why do you wanna know? Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Uh, uh, all right. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new guy. 
A house full of depraved porn and firearms. What could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just, I've wanted a chat like this for so long. So you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller, preferably 50. I want to be picked up with only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. This is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well, I like it when cute girls walk all over me. Huh, you know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean, literally walk all over me? Love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, it beats stepping on a scale, right? But yeah, unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. The realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50-foot-tall vixens. Yeah, the real world sucks hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears and tails? Do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I wouldn't know. Haven't done one yet? I haven't done anyone before. Shocker. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Wow, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, oh, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, <laughs> how'd you... <laughs> Maybe if you took your shoes off and stepped on his face. I can't believe this. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. Ugh, just shut up. He's spicy today. Meow. Oh, my God. So again, while I find the notes flattering, the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. <laughs> Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should be ridiculed. Oh my god. Uh... Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative? Oh god. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. <laughs> Will this stop? Class dismissed. <laughs> You did this. Did what? Told everyone my darkest secrets. That was in confidence. Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this but I won't give you a choice in stopping it. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself over this, do you? In the realm of the living, I am nothing more than a punchline for others' amusement. This is not the purpose I desired. Well, what is? I don't know. So if you die now, you'll never know. Don't try to talk me out of it. 
There's really no place for people like me. What are people like you like? I want 40 foot tall women with cat features to step on me. You really think that's the end of the world though? What do you mean? So you want more than missionary. Big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. It's still the end of my social life. Jeffrey, what social life? All you did was read anime books before. You're still reading anime books now. Did you stop jerking off to porn of comically tall women? No. So what's the problem? Seems like everything's going according to plan. You know, you're right. The only thing that's different is everyone knows now. Who cares? Yeah, before they just assumed it. Gosh, thanks, Nicole. You're a really good friend. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last word? Maybe I'll see you in lunch tomorrow. Company always keeps the suicidal thoughts away. See ya. This is what empathy gets you. I'm sorry, did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It... it was funny. I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit. So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool, so you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. You're the only girl I ever loved, even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye. I would have left a note, but there's only a two second window between staring down the barrel of a gun and dying. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. They'll also tell you he was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. But try talking to him. No one cares, just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here. And I'm not a nerd, I'm a geek. There's a difference. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist and which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? Uh, I guess not. You... you don't? Well, the way you put it made it seem like way too much effort anyway, so... Wow, you know, you're actually kind of nice. That's nice? Yeah, will you sit at lunch with me? I got a table all to myself, right outside the pizza line. I'd like to, but I told someone else I was going to sit with them today, so sorry. Oh, who? Fuck, I forgot I'm new here. Are you going to buy me lunch or anything, or is this a full-on charity seating? I pack lunch, but my mom always makes too much. We could share mine. How does that sound? Ah, uh, your lunch isn't some weird shit, right? Like hot dog slices and white rice? Nah, good old-fashioned tuna fish sandwiches. A classic, if you ask me. And the easiest sandwich to fuck up. So, are you going, or...? Fine. Awesomeness! I can tell you all about the new cartoon episodes if you missed any last week. Shucks. Yeah, you know, I've actually missed all the new cartoons for the last 200 weeks. Ugh, so behind. Why would you do this to yourself? Yeah, I have no idea why I'm doing this to myself either. Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? 
Uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. He won't stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? No, Jim. What happened? Like, okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. Jealous? I wanted to watch. Wasn't much of a fight, honestly. Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just, like, how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date or sex or anything, and he just went with it. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically do it all the time. I've just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? I don't know. I'm still just trying to process why he'd fistfight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty? Pretty what? No, you're just really pretty. But like that pretty? No way. If you're gonna be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm gonna find someone else to sit with. No, seriously, like, what are they worked up over? <sighs> You're cute, long flowing hair, and big boobs. Okay, I was fishing for compliments. Knew it. But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Stripping's for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, Wow, everyone's so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? And that's like half my friends. Oh my god. What? No way. And then, and then, Oh no, I'm 26 and ran out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone really run out of guys? Run out of good ones real quick. Oh yeah. So this new philosophy, unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. <sighs> I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or were sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, Mom? Nicole, I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Uh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon, and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking kids nice, Mom? This conversation is over. And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying... You can't uh, talk like that to her. I can talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See? You don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. You're on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. <laughs> I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great.
I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back the divine ass up. Enough! When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said... Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for, like, years now. Really now? Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Jessica here was there too and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious they should know too, don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Oh, that. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My essential areas. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. Well, in that case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. I believe you, sweetheart. Oh, awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. No way, you're, you're actually gonna do something about it? Aren't we broke? No, oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you? There's so many people there as it is. Isolate? I don't get it. Well, he has to get you girls alone somehow to have his way. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, no, he just does it right in the middle of class. You're joking. Yeah, just grabbing titties with no shame. He threatens to kill us if we tell anyone. That is unfucking believable I know. There's like 29 of us. So that's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. So, Nicole, in your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah, okay, so I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. And it's an art class, so the table's huge, big enough for four kids. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. In front of all the students, too. Then his hands started massaging my breasts. It was so... Wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. We'll see. I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. <gasps> Fine, then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. 
You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. <gasps> all right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. This is quite the imagination you have, but really, people? Are we going to believe this charade when the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. So, just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However... A female principal? <gasps> when you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lynn? What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. Now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. Oh. And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Settle down! Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever reported anything, like five minutes ago. Damn it! <laughs> oh, Coach just texted me again. Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. I mean, I already explained it, didn't I? You know what I mean. Why isn't the rest of the faculty testifying in your favor? Any further details? Uh, the whole thing was kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy? Or abstract? Fictional? Made up? All right! All right what? I made it up. The whole thing. <gasps> I knew you'd crack eventually. But how can you blame me? Just trying to put on my makeup and he belittles me in front of the whole class. You'd want to get even if you were in my position, too. It's hard being me. Can anyone understand that? I understand. This case is over. Needless to say, Mom was pissed. I was like, but I thought we should tell the truth, and she was all, not in court, bitch. So we got buried in legal fees, lost our home, lost everything. Mom found another husband and said I could rot under a bridge for all she cared. I opted for the cardboard box. At least I can decorate it. Lesson learned, though. I learned honesty makes your life way harder than it needs to be. Wait, Mom. Don't. Oh, God. Did he brainwash you into liking it? Excuse me? Mom, no, just please don't call. It's okay, sweetie. When you're in college, you'll meet plenty of men with just as much money as your photography teacher. No, ew. I made all this shit up, okay? Oh, did you now? Yeah. Could you not ground me forever? I know pretending to be raped is taboo, but it was kind of a dry run for when I'm in college. Hmm. 
I won't ground you at all, actually. Hop in the car. Let's go to a tattoo place. Oh my god. Mom, are you serious? You know I've wanted one for so long. Is this like some kind of reward for being honest? Quite the opposite. I had a chat with your friend Jekka's mother at the last parent-teacher conference. And what'd she say? A lot of words, but two in particular really stuck out to me. Disciplinary tattoo. Uh, fill me in on what that is. Sounds familiar. I'm getting Jesus Saves tattooed down your spine. What? Mom, no. This is fucking weird. Everyone at nice beaches will laugh at me, and everyone at shitty beaches will hit on me. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit-talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever, just a little fun on the side. We'll pick it up, bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah, me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole? I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? No, fuck off! Fine, be a bitch. See if I care. You're just mad you can't see us in bikinis this weekend! What are you doing? What? Don't get flustered like that. He's a rapist. Sex turns into violence overnight for those types. What, like choking and biting? That and jerking off while thinking about us suddenly turning into Jekka would look so hot with her organs gouged out. How do you know these things? I had a brother. So what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. We'll make sure it fits flawlessly to your every curve. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn. What else is new? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like three levels worse than what I thought he was going to do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Ec make it. Home Ec? What are they going to make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was going to do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008, isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it! What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole. 
If your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? Yeah, they really need a lock on that door. Thanks, hindsight. So what the fuck do I do right now? This is gonna ruin my life. Why can't you tell the principal again? Cause that's fucking embarrassing. Miss Lynn, that mean boy has a picture of my titties halfway out. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to make it your fault anyway. I still can't believe he shot it on medium format film of all things. What kind of pretentious dipshit jerks off to film prints? Her parents in the 70s? Wait, like... Film film? Like it needs to be developed? Yeah, he said he was getting it developed to tomorrow's film club. Break in that bitch. No lab, no developing. If it's some weird format, there won't be another one for miles and miles, right? Destroying the dark room. Would I get expelled for that? If you go in after everybody leaves, no one needs to know. Just wear gloves or something so you don't leave fingerprints. Gloves? If I have any. Will you go with me? No, it's not my ass on film. Come on, I'd help if it was you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Uh, okay, I wouldn't, but... God damn it. Is it really the end of the world if people see you in your underwear? You look good naked. Yeah, exactly. If I had weird tits and a gut, it'd be classified as an artistic nude. But if you're hot with no clothes on? It's porn. <sighs> Fine, I'll drive you over there, but I'm not stepping a foot inside that place. Let's go. Wow, I am creative when it comes to destroying things. Are you done yet? Yeah, just about. This should buy me enough time to swipe Jeffrey's camera and ruin the negative. Hey! Do you have permission to be here? Uh, if I said a teacher told me to meet here for a date, would you go after him or just blame me for that too? A date in your pajamas. Did he tell you to destroy thousands in school property too? Look at this place! Come with me! What? It was like this when I... Sleepwalked in here. You wear gloves to bed? Well, so much for Jekka's stupid fucking glove idea. To this day, I genuinely believe sleepwalking would have worked if it wasn't for wearing those. Anyway, I got statewide expulsion. Yeah, I didn't know it was a thing either. Mom refused to move again, forced me to get a shitty job, and hits me to relieve her feelings of disappointment. The deep fryer leaving craters on my face is bad, but anyone from school seeing me is a suicidal experience. Wow, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Fuck off. Uh, maybe? But you need a conversation starter if we're gonna justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like... Like... Like, put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Huh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. So, what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You... same. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. 
You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008, isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it! What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime- Oh, I'm sorry. You can't- If you're- I- No. Um, or maybe- What? You huh. So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear? Like, no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears. And a tail. And we're basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for, like, three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a dip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait. It's only like a minute. See? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay-ass photo lab. Oh my god. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yeah, what's up? You're expelled! Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is gonna die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our differences here and there, but... Sign my yearbook? No. W what No. And once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. <clears throat> the 
Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! Anyway, perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? That's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here. Like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. <gasps> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out. Just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, you fucked the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the feminism club. Politics or fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. I already have. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common, but it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. I promise, I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. School tour, um... That sounds nicely mediocre, but I'm just gonna go to class. See ya. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. All right, bye, yeah. Oh, you must be new. Yes, please take a seat next to Jeffrey. Hey. Hey, so, uh, I guess, I guess we're lab partners, huh? I guess. Not a big talker, are you? I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, that's a good thing. It means you're cool and different. And 300 pounds. What was that? Oh, nothing. It was just converting British currency in my head. Cool, see? Um, well, the teacher said I'm Jeffrey. What's your name? What, so you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. 
Well, we're gonna get to know each other anyway, right? Probably not. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. What's New Kid Grace period? Ugh, it's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of New Kids way above their social status. So when the New Kids get here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation or friendship until they find the people on their social level. How do you know I'm not on your social level? Fucking look at you. Listen to how you talk. How do you know I'm not? Shut the fuck up. Hey, I didn't do anything. I know. It's what you will do. I've had my ear talked off about comics, laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, just all that weird shit. You know, the other pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. They talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm funny. Oh, you're funny? Tell me a joke. Oh. Well, it's more like in the moment you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. Ah, I got you there. A lot of the girls here said they're saving themselves for me. Christ, they make it that obvious here? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, it... Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. <laughs> I'm funny. I know I am. God, the food here is tragic. Even the air has preservatives. Fucking tell me about it. That's why I pack. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, chemistry, I think. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you have to, like, wash acid off you before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away. Pretty much just me away in general. Who was it? Do you know? Um, Jeffrey? Oh, yep. He's a fun one. But he's so, like, overly chummy. That's fun to you? No, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? So he went up to some of the girls' boyfriends like, Ah, she's in love with me now. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Because they were all, like, 14, three guys just beat the shit out of him for it. Now we have all these stupid anti-bullying rules. I never got how they could, like, enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. Well, I'll see you around, Nicole. Nicole! I'm Nicole, hi. Huh, that's a nice name. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> so what animes do you like? Um, can't say I know too many animes, but I'd like to learn. Which ones do you like? Well, I don't really like some of the ones other guys like. Oh, so you're, like, really into it. Really hip? You don't like the popular stuff? Mmm, some are popular, but it's more the genre. A lot of anime is kung fu, laser beam action. I like the animes with the girls. Mm-hmm, so what do you like about them? I don't know. They're just really cute. I get crushes on them. Oh, you get crushes on cartoons? That's pretty cool. Thanks, yeah. And something else, but I should probably keep it a secret. Hey, hey, no, come on, tell me. I don't know. I just met you. Here, let's make a deal. You carry the load on this science lab today, and I'll keep your secret safe forever. I swear. Hmm. Okay, that sounds like a fair deal to me. I'll tell you at lunch. Cool. I can't wait. Now you just sit back. I'll get us an A for sure. You did such a good job. I'm almost jealous, actually. Oh, uh, there's nothing to it. I could tutor you after school or something. Mmm, we'll worry about that later. So what were you going to tell me in class? Oh, about how nail polish remover can melt styrofoam. No, before that. The girls in your favorite animes? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I think they're really, really cute. But sometimes more than cute. Like? Like, all the way? Um, well, a promise is a promise. I think some of them are very sexy. Oh, you like them that way, huh? Yeah, because their bodies are just so perfect. Uh-huh, totally. They are drawn so perfect. You, you don't think that's weird, right? No, it's perfectly normal. I think. Can't really check right now. Thanks. And sometimes when I'm pent up, I 
pause the anime at certain frames, and I... You know. No, I don't know. Tell me. I kinda, like... You know. Use my hand. Oh. Like, to completion? Yeah. I think that's awesome. It's so great that you do that. Oh, thanks. You're the first girl I ever told that to. I like you, Nicole. Can we talk tomorrow? Yeah, fuck it. Hey, tonight, tell those girls I said hi. Uh, Okay. Anything for you, Nicole. Hey, sorry, but do we have to go to a homeroom first? Or do we just go straight to first period? No, it's okay. Yeah, first period. There's no homeroom here. You're new? Yeah, it's my second day. I wish all schools were just built the same so it wouldn't be a learning curve every time I moved. Oh, are you a military kid? If hoeing's a battlefield, then yes. My mom divorces and moves a lot. Well, how do you think all schools should be built? Geometrically, all the same, with universal room numbering. Oh, and make them all just one floor. Two flights is confusing. But then how are we going to push fat kids down the stairs? Fuck, you're right. What's your name? Jekka. What's yours? Nicole. Why'd your parents name you Jekka? Well, no, they called me Jessica, but I started doing Jekka for short. Also, Jessica's a name that just screams married at 20. Oh yeah, marriage sucks. Never doing it. Totally. Whenever I play fuck, marry, kill, I answer fuck marriage and kill myself. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Do you know each other? No, not really. Of course we do. I met Nicole yesterday in science class. Then we had lunch together and talked about anime. Wow, Nicole, you're kind of less cool now. What? No, he's just making shit up. Anyway, I gotta get to class now. I'll leave you two to your anime talk. Thanks, yeah, we go pretty deep with it. How did fucking with you backfire that hard? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, sorry. That was a delayed response to an ex. The PTSD just brought it out of me. Cool. So where are you headed for class, Nicole? So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long... I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Oh, hey, I know you. What's up? This is the girl's bathroom? Really? Nah, no way. So what brings you here? Hmm, what would bring a girl to the girl's bathroom? Skipping? Duh. Now get out. Oh, come on, wait. What class are you cutting? Photography. The teacher tried making me do shit for free, and I am not about that. Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. So even if I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? I just like you, you know? Dude, get in line. Nobody knows how to leave me the fuck alone here. So honest. Like, I feel like I could really open up to you. You have a lot of emotional conversations. I listen to a lot of deep bands, so I can never find a girl that can keep up with me in that department. Did... You just threw that deep bands thing in there with no context. Come on. Can I at least know your name? Nicole. Oh, hi, Nicole. You want to have a sit-down with me? You know, talk it up? Hey, stranger. Hi, yeah. You seem drained. What's going on? I just came here from skipping photography. And it didn't go well because... Some fucking psycho was waiting for me in the girl's bathroom. I thought they fired that mailman. Uh, evidently a different psycho. He was eager to tell me about his taste in music. Oh, sounds like Crispin. Or any of the other Guitar One students. Yeah, I think his name was that. Wasn't really paying attention between the awkward icebreakers and 30 minutes of crying. Why was he crying? He wanted to open up to me in a public restroom for, like, no reason. He doesn't know me. I told him no, and he just wouldn't stop crying about how he loves me and no one understands him. Whatever. God, being a girl, it's a gift and a curse. It's like I was socially trapped. Hopefully one no keeps him at bay. With those types, it never does. If they know how to reach you, it kind of just doesn't stop. 
you know from experience? Yeah, not him specifically, but just guys acting all vulnerable so I pay attention to them? Sick of it, but what can you do? Commit egregious acts of disrespect. Is that what you did? Uh, now that I think about it, I was way too nice in that whole exchange. How nice? Did you apologize at any point? Did you say sorry? I was pretty cold and detached, I thought. Did. You. Say. Sorry. Fuck, I did. You dumb slut! I didn't even do anything to him. Why the fuck would I apologize? It's those girl hormones. We're genetically programmed to put up with bullshit. How much longer until graduation? Twenty months. Can you last? What choice do I have? Yes, Guidance Counselor, let's talk it up. Hey, come on. No need for the jokes. I can tell you're fragile inside. Me too, actually. Oh yeah? How can you tell? You know, like... Y your face and stuff. Just how you are. You've known me for literally two days. All I need is two minutes. <laughs> you want to get to the emotional part? Huffing developer is a lot more exciting than this. Look, it's just... I don't know. People don't understand me. Like, this girl saw I was listening to pop punk and was like, I thought punk was anti-pop. Like, she didn't understand. I would have told you the same thing. Pop punk's for boring suburban kids who want to live in L.A. But it's deeper than that? Like, I feel like no one at this school gets me. Just curious, were you saying that before using the internet? Man, like, I don't know. There's got to be more out there. You haven't actually replied to a single thing I've said. How is this a conversation? I guess it's not, huh? Not so much a conversation, more like a vet sesh. Well, anyway... Oh, yeah, 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 I'll let you go now. But, oh, Nicole, thanks for listening. You're a good friend and stuff. Gee, thanks. You're a good person I was forced to talk to. How is it two ninety nine for a drop-it-like-it's-hot ringtone? It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait... Hey, thanks for listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How'd he get my number? Whatever, let's see. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me, IDK. Yeah, IDK's real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see- Oh my god, all three inches of it? What the fuck? Why? I'm just gonna erase this. Ugh. I was literally raped through a phone just now. School was bad before, but now I gotta deal with seeing him there. Then again, he kinda just put himself out there like that. Send it to her, send it to her, send it to him. Barely know him, but let's give it to him too. Send it to her. Hey guys, what's going on here? We having fun? You hear the new drops at the CD shops? <laughs> Oh, hey, Crispin. Yeah, I would have, but my after-school time was kind of short. Yeah, it wasn't long at all, right? Oh, sucks to hear, bro. What happened? Literally everyone at school seen your micropenis. <laughs> what? No way. How? Because you took a picture of it, you fucking idiot. Settle down, everyone. Every week you kids get worked up over some tiny thing. Oh, you saw it too? <laughs> what is so funny? Crispin's been sending out pictures of his junk to every girl in school. That's not how I heard it. I thought it was just one girl. And then she sent it to everyone. Who was it then? Tell me, Crispin. The... the new girl, Nicole. Sexually harassing our new students? You're in big trouble, mister. Nicole, there's something we need to talk about. Oh god, not you too. Your principal called and told me there was a problem at school. A boy sent you some unsolicited pictures? Mom, this is gross. I'm not talking about it with you. You were forced to look at sexual imagery, Nicole. The child psychologists say that can really stunt development. Well, every day I'm forced to look at the principal's fat titties just hanging out all over the goddamn place. This isn't about her- <sighs> Look, I just need to know if you're okay. This was very serious. Mom, I've honestly never felt better in my life. Uh, how? 
Do you see the power I have here? Any guy who annoys the shit out of me, I can just socially ruin. My point is, it should have never gotten to that point. I'll go die your roots, Mom. Hey, uh, that was totally uncalled for. Like, I finally score a point for women and you have to have a problem with it. Other girls were talking to me like, I'd never do that, you're brave. I'm a trendsetter, Mom. Ugh, just make sure you don't provoke them too hard. Boys can be vicious, sweetie. Yeah, they haven't met me. Mom, I really don't know. I don't think so. Oh, sweetie, what happened? It's okay, you can tell me. You won't be mad? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I don't know. He sent me the picture and just wouldn't stop texting me. And you got the limited phone plan, so I couldn't block his number. It just wouldn't stop. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll take care of that tomorrow. Now, what else? Well, the next day at school, he was way too confident with me. Just pinning me against the locker and licking my earlobes. That's what they fetishize now? Just sick. I know. He told me I was his property, and I just started crying. I don't know what to do. There, there. It's all right. Oh, this is the hardest part of being a mom, I swear. I'm sorry I'm a disappointment, Mom. I'd want a daughter who gets A's on math tests instead of D's to the vase. Stop it. I love you, okay? Is there any way I can make this better? A anything at all? Well, maybe some new, less revealing outfits? So boys stop hitting on me? What? How many? A whole wardrobe. Just to get me through to graduation. No, sweetie, you can't shift your whole life around over one abuser. I'm calling the school to get him expelled. Oh, all right. I guess that's fine, too. And if they don't, I'm filing a lawsuit. We'll even move if we have to. What? Again? But I just... Shh. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Now, where's that office number? Well, guess who didn't get expelled? Mom called again and threatened with a lawsuit. She forgot one crucial detail, though. I'm on the assisted income lunch plan, so they knew she couldn't afford a lawyer. Like six different alimony checks, and they're all going to hair bleaching. So we're moving. Again. I swear to God, I can never be satisfied. Not until it's too late. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. See, I feel really bad about this, but sorry, I can't. Your pitch was so good, too. Oh, well, no hard feelings, Nicole. I'd love to make it up to you and do some cleaning in here anyway. Oh, thanks. I need to get back to my class introduction. While I'm out there, maybe you could reorganize the developers. No problem. Thanks. No, thank you. Okay, having at least one of these should get me fucked up, right? Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Well, I bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home Googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. 
Your pure skin just wonderfully fades out into the highlights of the wheat behind you. Yeah, thanks. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. The curse of being a photographer. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic Cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And... yes, we are. It was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. Uh, so there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and... Yes, yes, I'll hold up my end of the deal, don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you... Do you enjoy being white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Like, no, yes, who cares? Why are you so into whiteness? Sorry, I guess the questions have been a tad much. There's just something about the color white. And it's not just my last name. White's a pretty boring color, to be honest. I wouldn't call it boring, just... pure. You're a photography student. Think of it like a camera. When you take the lens off and snap a picture, the image is just white. Then you put it back on and focus. The shapes seen are merely obstructions, sullying the whiteness. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? It's just a metaphor for a larger problem in this country. We focus on other cultural obstructions so much that we've allowed them to mix with and tarnish the initial whiteness that started it all. Huh. Yeah, I think I might get it, but could you give me an example of a cultural obstruction? Rap music. Huh. Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Anytime, any place. Now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, you deserve it. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. So... he's... Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh. That makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? What a lovely surprise, girls. Now, Nicole, you wouldn't happen to be recruiting another loyal white to our cause. Oh my god, it is true. We didn't even work it out of him or anything. Really puts the proud in white pride. Judging by your tones, I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. No shit. Is that why you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 
You really think I'm a quirky art girl? No, it's just a broad example. Please just try to see this my way. The white pride parties understood the error of their ways in the 20th century. Since then it's evolved from arson and lynchings. We simply wish to promote pride in our own heritage, just like the colored communities do. Colored communities? Oh, I'm sorry. People of color. How is that better? So there's black pride. That's fine. How is white pride any different? Proud about what? You already own everything. It's just a victory lap. If you don't cut this shit out, we're gonna stop it. You're two little teenage girls. You have no power over me or my people. Maybe not, but the principal does. Let's go. Ugh, did not want to get this involved. <laughs> go ahead and try. If you look like me, you'd cheat on your husband, too. Miss Lynn, sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you back. You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. You do illegal plastic surgery out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. How can I help you girls? It's about Mr. White and photography. He's kind of- Stop! Stop! I get this conversation once a year. You've known about this? Unfortunately. And you're just okay with it? Absolutely not, but- his defenses have my hands tied, I'm afraid. It's sick. I'd be inclined to agree. Another level of twisted. But he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students, so I'd rather not push the issue further. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, this isn't about that? We're here to report he's trying to recruit his students for white nationalism rallies? Okay, this I didn't know about. Yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason, go ahead. So we talked to him in the darkroom and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh man, uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not really, but it's more like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me, so I'd rather not get involved. He may or may not have pictures of you in neo-Nazi shirts? Cause I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough, you can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a bitch. How? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this, and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. See you after school? Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... well, you'll see. See, Nicole? Doesn't it just feel great to openly talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually, not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach. Really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind? Merely a societal taboo. A social construct, if anything. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Here we go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. At the end of the day, love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? I'm about to dial 911. Nonsense. What's wrong? 
You work at a school and you're giving me the age is just a number speech. Shouldn't you do that on your court date? Sorry, I don't play tennis. Hilarious. Perhaps you're just not ready for an adult conversation. You're still growing, after all. Blooming as a young woman. Yeah, so I'm off limits. Are we done here? Well, one last food for thought. Your driver's license may say you're still a girl, but your body knows you're a woman right now. Prime for reproduction. What, because I have a period? Not to get graphic, but yes. Nothing wrong with that. It's natural. So I should have had a baby at 13 then? No, just intercourse at 13. The baby coming by the time you're 14. I'm leaving. Theoretically, of course. <laughs> hmm. If she tells her parents, I'll just say she was acting out. Oh, hey. Was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't... Uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kinda confronting him, and his arguments weren't that out there. I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like... He asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. I mean. Guess when you think about it, it is kinda silly to tell just one group they can't be proud. Exactly, like isn't that racism in itself? I get where you're coming from. See, he's not so bad. Hey, you should come to the shoot with me. We can make it a social thing for a good cause, you know? This weekend, yeah, I guess I could do another shoot. Awesome, yeah, it'll be fun. He'll fill us in on this whole solution for race relations and everything. His ethnostate solution? Maybe, but who cares? If black people get February, we could at least get California. You think all the white people would fit there? If not, then Washington and Oregon too. Minorities still have another 47 states to pick from anyway. That's a good point. See you this weekend. White power! Well, long story short, I went to the shoot, and Mr. White got the bright idea of having us build a chlorine bomb that could level a food court. We didn't really know what we were doing while giving him a hand with the supplies. We just thought he had a really big pool. He detonated it at a Puerto Rican rights bingo night, killing himself in the process, leaving us as the only living traces of DNA found at the scene. It's ironic, because, like, I wasn't racist in the first place. Then I dabbled in racism just to be friendly— then I tried really hard to convince the jury I still wasn't racist, and now I need to be racist and join some Aryan sisterhood for prison protection. Is it like this for every model? You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye! Who can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry, huh was not one of his achievements. 
You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? Who gives a shit? Uh, what? <laughs> Is that the first time you ever heard that? You can't force me to care about any of this. You'll care when your SAT scores come back. I'm not taking the SATs. You only need that if you're going to a four-year college. Oh, so you're not going to college then. Think you have it all figured out. Why would a girl pay 40000 a year to get raped by a frat boy? <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Uh, yeah, I'm hilarious. Get more laughs than you. Sorry, couldn't tell ya. Come on, you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave sex thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Cause when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns slaves. Obama owns slaves? I guess we'll never have a non-racist president. Uh, no, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to lacrosse kid. He said the slave shit first. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing. So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore, shut up! Hey coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one, gone. I didn't get into lacrosse camp, such bullshit! Well, maybe just get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that like 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean like affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay. Who's with me? Hey, you wanna calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Whatever happened to classic rock? Or, or country? You know, like real music. Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh yeah, you probably don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. Yes, fuck you. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. How am I a wigger? Just like, liking black people or something, whatever. But that's beside me. Just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? My what? You know, to support this grand cause. Grand cause? No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is, like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. You gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? 
Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for what? I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere. And you can belong too. So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. So let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but like, you want to take me out later? Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. Unless, of course, Mr. White told me to. No, I mean, like, take me out on a date? D date You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Oh, uh, well, not that busy. I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday's like my only free day for the next, like, forever. So damn, too bad. W what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that? Oh, my God, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this moment. Aryan students! Imperial Scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take it he's pretty happy. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about me. Always about you, okay. Well, he wasn't really asking, just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What the fuck? I know. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right? It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and expelled all the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like, 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit. So, what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it? Just so I could review at home and practice? Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. All right, you better start rolling. Aryan brothers, assemble! Yo, we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. 
white pride worldwide white pride yeah, worldwide yeah awesome white you're pride doing worldwide. great guys so how about it nicole you gonna join i don't know you really made a convincing argument with this can i take this video home and watch it a few times sure i can come over and do more chants too if you'd like uh no nah, that's okay Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Upload. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire school. He kinda just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. I'm gonna be honest, you seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait, most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. what I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, all right, I I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here, like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season, we went 7 and 5, like above 500, not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like 5 games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool, seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got him right here, you want to do him with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on, don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athletes kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Bro, I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. You ever played with a sleeping teammate's ass? Well, like not in a gay way. Uh-huh. How is that gay? Whatever, I'm going to lunch. It was nice meeting you, very straight, non-rapist. <laughs> yeah, make your friends. <laughs> God damn, this school's nothing but rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. Oh, sorry. If you're sitting here, I can go somewhere else. Nah, I don't think anyone's showing up. Go ahead. Thanks. What's your name? Jekka. Now, before I ask your name, I just want to ask what happened to you. Like, it took me two years to figure out the school sucks. You did it on your first day. What's up? A lacrosse player wanted me to get high. Like Benadryl or a prescription high? Full on Percocet, dude. Oh, that's, um, fuck, what was his name? Kyler, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit of a benzosexual. What the fuck's a benzosexual? Attracted to the unconscious. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Nicole. I just dodged a bullet. Cool, hey. Um, so the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Nicole! Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you, it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey, dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble! Wait, wait, what? Oh, don't play dumb. I didn't do anything. I was on my way back from the bathroom, and this guy just stopped me trying to sell his... 
For a second? For, um, I don't know, but he won't leave me alone. Oh, come on. Trying to find yet another customer, huh, Kyler? Come with me! Bro, what the fuck? You're seriously believing that? I don't want to hear it. Come with me! You're such a fucking bitch, dude. Like, not cool. Oh, lunchtime. That was the ultimate win-win. Hey, uh, are you okay? What? Oh, no, I'm good as shit, dude. I don't feel great. Just nice. So, is anyone else gonna be sitting here, or...? Oh, sit here all you want. I'm new here. I have no say. Cool, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Are you fucked up? Are you? Emotionally, absolutely. I'm not rich enough to turn down free Percocet. Yeah, that lacrosse guy loves the new girls. Did you pocket any? Can I have one? No, it got broken up real quick. A teacher caught us, and I just pinned it on him. That's fucking badass. What's your name? I'm Nicole. But don't say that really loud. I don't want these people to know me. Don't worry, I know. So, what electives are you taking? Uh, Like, uh, is English an elective? It should be, but no. Okay then, it was photography. Me too! We might be in the same class. If you like to get that excited about it, yeah, we might be. Oh, you're too cool for school? Well, no. Right now I feel warm as hell. Have you popped Perk? It's a blanket and a pill. Yeah, I've popped Perk. How the fuck is it a blanket and a pill? It turns off all the coldness sensors. You just feel nice and cozy. You're fun. In trouble? Fuck you! I'm not in anything! Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train Fan Club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train Fan Club. I just sponsored the Model Train Fan Club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me, both of you. Honey... What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kind of has a point with that, Bob. You kind of need to get a fucking job. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. You don't even have rights. Well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again, I'm not paying for private school, and I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom! I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point! Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine! I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. Yeah, baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join my party chat we can game. What, what the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm just trying to score some 15 year old Canadian ass, hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no, you know how like Canadian bacon is just ham? Canadian ass is just a mature 15 year old, see, same thing. You're, oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Hey, um, did you get that new shooter game? The one where you're a white guy shooting brown people in a non-racist way? A warfare? Yeah, hell yeah, I got it. Had to steal out of mom's purse, but it's get paid or get played, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess. Can I play with you? 
I thought you didn't like video games anymore. I started using an anti-aging cream, so my hobby should match my skin. Oh, well, works for me. But you're player two, bitch. How could any adult woman not like video games? What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's like so hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93. Her bio's like, only interested in older guys, so hit me up whenever. Up for anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. Oh man, she's just a town over too. I'm gonna message her. What should I say? You're like a legal adult. Shouldn't you know how to do this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls wanna hear? Come on. All right, fine. Um, first tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Okay, what else? Say you wanna buy her drugs and alcohol. And no pussy shit, like full on heroin. I'm sure other guys promise that too though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. I don't know. But like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude, that's like genius. She's gonna so want the D. What do you want? Are you dating site user Heavy D No MC? Yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busted in here. By the way, that's like a sick user name, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch snitched me out. God damn it! Rest assured, there was no Kenzie. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up. Fucking Nicole, you bitch! My first phone call is gonna be a bomb threat to your friends! My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. Now I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Uh, uh, all right. Hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Kinda. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Hey, I'm Jekka. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to. Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's like really into video games. Is he one of those guys that like end up on the news for messaging kids? Last night he begged a 15 year old for naked pictures. Oh my god, he's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. Where are you headed to? And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? 
the principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone, no problem. Out! <laughs> no! Again, Nicole? Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. Talking out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? I'm sorry, legacy? Yes, your mark, your impact left on the student body. Graduation's only a few months away, you know. See, I'm glad you brought that up. I will literally never see any of these people again after graduation. There's no point in socially trying with anyone here. We must have someone you'd like to stay in touch with after graduation. Nope. Not even your friend Jessica? Jessica's like, okay, but I'm not going out of my way to hang out with her. Isn't legacy for like a major career or something? Your high school career. Oh, is this a career now? What's my salary? A $2 lunch and 20 years of sexual harassment trauma? Such pessimism at such a young age. When you're an adult, you learn how to truly love life. Oh, I'm sure there's tons of life to love. None of it having anything to do with this high school. Why would I care what some kid sitting two rows back from me thinks? It's not about right now. It's the tons of fun memories you can revel in years after college. Okay, um... I know you work here, and employee culture keeps your checks signed, but anyone well into their 20s still thinking about how high school was is a fucking waste of space. Perhaps I should introduce you to some of our Class of 87 alumni. Many of them are teachers here today. So they're the lower middle Class of 87? No thanks. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co-ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question here? Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too! You're all psychotic! A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. I try to level with all my students, so can you really blame him? Some of your attire has been quite... low-cut here. Go on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time you've been here. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me right now? Where's the hidden camera? What show is this? What are you talking about? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, there's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on social constructs? I'm leaving. Nicole? I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So, I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. I'll be your enabling little princess.
But whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. How was your spring break? Exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget about the hangout promises I made over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms, but should have time in the spring? Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. Not when you're hot. They never forget when you're hot. I'm hot? You fish for compliments? Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself, having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon-ass bitch meets at a diner? They all blend together, couldn't tell ya. Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangouts. Hey, let's do this again. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah, so now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. You're starting to sound like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts this week. Oh my god, you're that far in? That's like church girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. Don't be so cynical. He'll probably just murder you. Dying would be awesome right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his twisted little anime brain wants... Ew, okay. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? Yes. Good to know. Have fun with your little dates. Ugh. So this is your place, huh? That's the third time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild. Crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet your mom's out of town. You could throw a whole party, right? If I liked people enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw oh, man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish, too. I'm standoffish? N not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called, uh... Man, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> Has it really only been 20 minutes? Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know, you're actually really pretty. I know. Pretty and like, pretty cool too? Your taste in music, it's like, it's like nothing I've ever heard before. You really know your stuff. No, I don't. I had Sean Kingston on for the last hour. Humble too? Like, you're different. I'm not having sex with you. Whoa, what are you talking about? Fucking you was like the last thing on my mind. Unless you'd want to. You've worn the same Volcom socks for like two weeks. So that's a no? It's cool if it is. But yeah, it might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on Friday. What? I said you should see this place on Friday! Okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm 17 after all. And the skee-ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this behavior is telling. Yeah, telling pussy-ass bitches to suck my dick. I think I should start making rap songs. My dad has a MacBook. But yeah, season four? Not really for me personally. How about you? Sorry, season four of what now? The Doki Daisuke anime? You've been paying attention, right? To the first three seasons, or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. Like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates from media school. For free? Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way... Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. But yeah, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. End of discussion. I'm not opposed to that stance. How about you, Nicole? 
Nicole. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Poor new kid. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Because I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still on for tonight? Fucking Crispin! What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with you there. Shit, that concert was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. But you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. Okay, that's off. Mom shouldn't be back from her date for another four hours, so that's plenty of time. Are you kidding me? I just want to slice my wrist dramatically and this is killing the whole vibe. Whatever, I want to die. It doesn't matter how. Nicole! I forgot my wallet. Just getting it... Oh my god! Nicole! Uh Huh? What? What did you do to yourself? Can I just die in peace? Where's the cordless? I'm calling an ambulance. It'll be okay, sweetie. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if you just fucking left. Hello? Yes. My daughter attempted suicide. There's blood everywhere. Please send someone. What's it like to be happy? Like happy happy. Sure, I can have fun, think something's cool, have a good time. None of that outweighs wanting to die. Mom had me locked up in a mental ward until my 18th birthday. So I learn what crazy pills actually do to you. They don't make anyone happier. Just more content with limbo. What sucks worse than killing yourself is fucking up killing yourself. You don't get to be a black and white headshot for eternity. You're just really awkward to hang out with. I thought they played music at concerts. Yeah, I think they're just doing a sound check. Song of the set, Lincoln Dark, up next. So you having fun? I'm actually having an aneurysm. Uh, you? Mr. Colby, what are you doing here? I work here. Oh, I guess you had to find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about, fired? I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm a player, don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty band, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Fine. You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again. My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands. Hey, how was the concert last weekend? One as expected. Makes sense. So hey, you want to skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. And fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. 
What? You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like, I'm too far in. It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think if I love you more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. See you, Nicole. God, I wish I was a lesbian. You fucking whore! <gasps> no, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. I... I don't... Get it, is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! <gasps> no, I didn't! Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together, fuck off! All those times I took you out, and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too! If I knew you were easy, I would've tried more when I took you out! I'm done with you! From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me! The fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around! Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want a date, huh? You kept offering, I was trying to be nice! Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole fucking time! A grown man actually started a rumor about me. Somebody steal her backpack! Yeah, we gotta get our money back somehow! I didn't fuck anyone! Oh, you're actually here. Good, I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, um, you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down? To an extent, what's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. Kill is a rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more... upset? Why does this matter? Let's try a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? I'd rather not get into it. Long story. Really weird and embarrassing. Fair enough. What I'll say is, when people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that, but the gym teacher, he was at this concert and now like- Now hold on, so why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual frustration, natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? Hormones? Teasing. Are we being a tease, Nicole? And you're actually employed here? Don't deflect. You're usually so... sharing. How am I sharing? For instance, how you shared your body with the varsity football team? No. Oh, now don't be ashamed. You should be proud of your spontaneity. In fact, I think I'll take you out on a personal field trip. I'd love to explore this curious side of you. Go fuck yourself! I'm seeing the principal. Might not be the best use of your time. Principal Lin knows, too. We all do. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? I can. You need a prescription for a Vicodin? This is hardly a buzz. Yes, hello? Oh, hey you. Oh no, what is it? Are you serious? I guess I'll have a word, yeah. Mom, we gotta talk! Shh! Yeah, of course. My daughter just walked in. Okay, see you soon. Bye, sexy. I was just on the phone with your school. Who at my school are you calling sexy? Your principal. Why are you skipping school? Mom, you don't understand. Like, ten guys were about to jump me over a rumor. I had to split out of there. I don't care if it was twenty guys. They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. I told you not to screw up here! Mom, I can't help it if the pedophile gym teacher is trying to sabotage me. This is the first I've heard of any gym teacher. I told you about it three times! You would have remembered if you weren't always fucked up on Vicodin. That's it. That's it. You're going back to that school whether you like it or not. If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home! Fuck this, I'm done. Good! Lock yourself in your room. It'll be the last time you're seeing it.
You got that right. People are books, puzzles, and pawns. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. If you're reading this, I'm dead. Where the fuck were you? Long story. 
Well, no, it's actually short. I just don't feel like telling you. Okay, whatever. Can we go now? All the good graduation parties are gonna be out of Coke if we go too late. Is there Coke at the bad graduation parties or just the good ones? What do you think makes them good? I thought you were a pharma princess. Since when do you want hard shit? Since we graduated and I don't give a fuck anymore? Doing coke in high school is depressing, but I'm gonna be in college soon. Whose line is it anyway? Mine. I'm Wayne Brady in this bitch, ho. You wanna be some cokehead bitch in college? Because if you do, I fully support it. You'd be like ten times hotter. Oh my god, I know. I wanna like, go full out of control and then marry some rich med major who wants to save me. Ultimate goal. Is that the ceiling for us? What's the big idea, huh? I don't know, I only have little ideas. Yeah, and I got medium ideas. You ruined the whole graduation ceremony. I was valedictorian and everything. What did anybody do to you anyway? Everybody's always nice to you and calls you pretty and all you want to do is hurt them. Well, shoot, if they call me pretty. Uh, and more than that, they give you things, always help you, and then I just see you screw them over. All I see is you being mean for the sake of being mean. It's like a game to you. You want me to tell you what you don't see? I've seen enough. Have you ever seen a man three times your age ask you to fuck him? Like just this week, or...? What? Be serious! Sorry, how about 60 texts in one night all threatening you if you don't go out with the pizza delivery man who sent them? How would you let some crazy guy get your number like that in the first place? I ordered pizza with my cell phone. I know your pasty white ass wouldn't get what being in demand is like, but it's a tough job, Jeffrey. And you don't even get paid. But if you do, you're a whore. Are you getting it, Jeffrey? So people like you. Boo hoo. They don't just like us. They're obsessed with us. Obsession leads to a lot of crazy shit. And you give the wrong bitch enough crazy shit in her life, she just might snap on everybody. Sounds like a good problem to have. I'd rather be surrounded by craziness instead of still being lonely. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know what life is like wanting a partner and being ignored by everyone. You're spoiled by social attention and you don't even know it. Is this your manifesto? My what? At least wait till we get to college before you kill us, okay? I never said I'd do that. What college you guys going to anyway? What college are we going to? Could be Maryland. Or Florida. Maybe Cal State. You're gonna have to shoot up every school in the country at this rate. Oh, every time I try having a regular conversation, you just make it a joke about me. Like I said, socially spoiled. A little bit. Can someone be spoiled by not having a daily fight or flight moment? What? Like I should be you for a day? You're way too ugly to be her for a day. The... Well... She gets too much attention to know how much it hurts to be me for a day. I guess we'll never know. It's funny when a girl tells her story, only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them, their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? What is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. 
Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh, nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying Skechers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet? Don't you have the songs on your eye touch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other than you? Guys who want me bad? See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along... I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Wait, what is Flaming Lips? Shitty. Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, too. I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without dad in front of it. Well, yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Ew, I don't want to think about being old. Yeah, I'd probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you, like, leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it, too? Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, because my mom was telling me about the Zodiac Killer, and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. He probably say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. Do you think we're crazy for wanting that? No, we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. Should we leave before we get caught, or...? Yeah, let's go to the Chrome Diner. Oh, God! Since when are the scanners here? Looks like the jig is up, girls. God damn it! Caught over stealing a $12.99 CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it? She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Well, do you want the truth? Of course. 
See, we saw you standing guard over there looking so strong. We kind of wanted an excuse to get arrested, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. Being bad can have some good payoff sometimes. Uh, is there something you girls would like me to know? Yeah, actually, we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Your wife is probably such a bitch when you come home, but we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Well, my wife is a bitch-cunt whore who I'm killing first if I ever get fired. And see, that doesn't scare us off at all. Yeah, you're dangerous. We want you more now. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Topgolf just opened. Fuck Topgolf. Let's go to the Super 8. You're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. 34 divided by 2, that's, uh, hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. So what if we're a little young? No one needs to know. Yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. I got a place where I'd really like to take you. Thailand? Downtown. Shit! Over fucking MSI, CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Though I will admit, you both look very mature for 13. 13? And they let you have a gun? We can't all be algebra experts. What the hell is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy? I know. We get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids we know here. Oh, hey! Didn't know you guys had to go here, too. Is this surprising? No. No, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my god, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? Uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. R rub against him? Ugh, that's so... Ugh, sorry. Last week we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. A whole lesson? Yeah, is that why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need a relapse every now and then. Are you peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My Valium ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. Yeah, and zen's a good ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. I was in the after school gaming club playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and, uh. What is set up for this? Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no one else was around, and I just kind of felt like, you know. Feeling around down there? Yeah? Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> and you finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out, and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? So you're doing it, and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's two separate characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Why would you do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So is this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack 2? Uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He's probably the worst one here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. I think we're gonna need a distraction. You know, Jeffrey, don't tell anyone, but I actually think it's kind of cool that you did that. You do? Here we go. Yeah. I know we were laughing about it, 
But I've totally been there before. What, what do you mean? I literally do the same thing, but at home. I just didn't think anyone else would be that kinky. Like, while you're playing a video game, too? Obvi. It's like the only way I do it nowadays. Yeah, what game? Oh, um, Crash Bandicoot. Five. I don't think there's a fifth one of that. Yeah, sorry. I meant, um, Crash Bandicoot one. They made one, right? Crash one. That's a classic. Wow, we're in the presence of a master gamer. Did I mention I had a thing for master gamers? A thing? What do you mean by that? What I mean is, you want to come over to my house and play Jack and Daxter sometime? Oh, uh, I've, I've never really done that with a girl before. But why don't we fix that? What'd you do? I guess he's turned on. I want you to watch me while I do it. What's this all about? Jeffrey, we went over how to control these patterns. I'm just so... Take me, Miss Lynn. I'll do anything for your sweet relief. Stop it. Right now. Wow, Miss Lynn, that's pretty embarrassing. We'll get out of your way for this one. Good luck with the Master Gamer. Have you heard anything from the principal since yesterday? Nah, I think her hands were more than full with Jeffrey. I thought I need to say way more to get him going. He's really got a problem. I didn't even know why you'd subject yourself to that. We got out, didn't we? Yeah, I guess, but playing with some weird kid like that? He's gonna, like, go home and think about you when he's master gaming. Dude, we're in high school. We could be covered in spaghetti sauce. They're still gonna think about us when they jerk off. No way, that often. Are we on Team Nick? Bitch, Zoe101's a good show. Hey, Emily. What's up? Do you guys think about us when they, you know, do it? I've gotten texts when they think about me doing it. Oh, I got that once. It's like, yeah, thanks. I wonder how I'd feel about that if I really liked the guy. Well, no, if Johnny Depp did it, I'd be like, tell me more, but it's never Johnny Depp. It's always some guy who looks like a Travis. If this happens so much, why haven't I gotten a text? You're kind of too preppy for it, honestly. Yeah, we're more trashy, so guys think we'll be into it. I wonder what being trashy's like. You could pierce your tongue and find out. By the way, where are you headed, Nicole? Huh. Hey, Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? What? Hey, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Damn. Not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. Hey, guys, <laughs> let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last, virgin? <laughs> you had it coming, Jeff. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the skeet pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No. No! <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. It's just lust. It's not love. It's just lust. What the fuck? Okay, girls, break it up! Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Really thought I'd seen it all here. I don't want to think about sex for the rest of the month. No, yeah, for sure. God, imagine being those girls. For a week, it'd be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like... Put a cigarette out on my neck and lick the burn mark. So you want to try it? No. Fine, whatever. But you never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kiss her brother on the lips white. Hello, girls. We're not talking about kissing, are we? 
Uh, no. It's all right. I'm your counselor. You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now, that sounds like it might be name-calling. You remember our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are you, um, here? I was informed that you both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting yesterday and just wanted to follow up with you. Oh, no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it, then? You really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? I'm certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Teachers are broke, right? I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck. Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? Come on! What? But we have a runner! Free! <laughs> Maybe now you'll think twice about breaking the law. You shot five bullets so she'll think twice next time? Yeah, it could have been less, but I fired with my eyes closed. Little inside challenge down at the precinct. What? Are you actually fucking insane? You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh my god, what? Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! Oh, no, please don't. I'm sorry. Now that's more like it. <laughs> I'll call you girls an ambulance. One sec. But yeah, do you want to go to my party this Saturday? I don't know. It's just kind of tricky for me lately, like PTSD and everything. One of the guys from All Time Low might be there. I'm fucking All Time Low. I have therapy twice a day now. What happened? You don't remember the news two weeks ago? Oh, that was, um, no, I don't. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, totally. Just RSVP by Thursday so we know. What a fucking bitch. Hey. Oh my god, you're out? Yeah, they cleared me last week, but I didn't feel like going to school. You didn't feel like answering your texts either. I thought you were dying. Well, yeah, I was emotionally. I'm always dying emotionally. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice a day. Shit was wild. So what happened with your leg? Oh, yeah, so they said the bullet went deep into my thigh and almost hit an artery. But they got it out, right? The surgery went well? I mean, I'm walking as well as it could go. What? I don't know. When they were putting me under, I was so afraid they were gonna, like, violate me or something. They're doctors, Nicole. They're not gonna do that. Okay, well, that's what they said about teachers, parents, and police, so who the fuck can we trust anymore? Oh, God. By the way, do you know what happened with that cop? My dad heard they gave the cop paid leave or something. What the fuck? Being a cop has to be the most cathartic job in the world. Really? Think about it. You're some loser with a gun, and your wife doesn't want to fuck you, so you go out, shoot a teenager, and get a paid trip to Bermuda. That sounds kind of good, actually. You gonna join the Academy? Why would I? I'll never be in a situation where my spouse doesn't want to fuck me, because I'm a perfect 10 with a high libido. How many times a day you say you go to therapy? Hello, girls. Are we staying out of trouble here? Whoa! What are you doing here? After our little skirmish at the mall, the county reassigned me to patrol this school to pay my debt to the youth. So let's stay in school this time, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, bye, dude. Sure, but one more thing. If either one of you get in any trouble, I will not hesitate to fucking well murder you. Have fun in school, you girls. Yeah, sure thing. Why, why did they send him here? Dude, you didn't even get shot. Calm down. He said he was gonna... Blow my brains out, Nicole! Oh my god, you're such a poser. What the fuck am I supposed to do? We can't all be sociopaths like you, Nicole! You'll get there. So why are you here? Are you gonna skip again, or what? This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out, my mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts. Like, 
I, I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large? Damn, that's the one size she wears too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you bitches, I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. Okay, grab the small, let's go. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean, learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught. We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Saku Japan or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Oh god, I ate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? You think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either, weird. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall. But he has to like support himself with that. Yeah. Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you of all people worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. I'm not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me? Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Honestly, I don't know. It's just... We were both diagnosed with manic depression, and it's just hard to show up anywhere. Uh, what she said, just nothing makes me happy anymore. Not even cocaine. I haven't tried it, I'm just assuming. Manic depression? Hmm, I'm not sure we've had that as an excuse before. But it's totally real. C come on, isn't it Mental Health Awareness Month? That's in May. Yeah, it's May. It's September. See? We're so messed up, we don't even know what month it is. And besides, Winnie Houston said we need a whole year. That was for Black History Month. Uh, no, it was for Mental Health Awareness, right? Yeah, maybe. I just don't know anything anymore. I'm not sad. I just don't feel feelings or care about anything. I'm headed into a downward spiral. Oh my god, same. I just want to date a guy in his 30s and kill myself. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and I'm totally numb to hearing that because of my manic depression. All right, fine. I'll excuse it this time. But I expect you girls to seek help if this really is so much of an issue for you. Oh, thank you, Miss Lynn. You made my day just a little bit better. I have no emotions either way, because depression, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. You didn't do shit, Miss Lynn. All right, I think instead of class, you should head over to your counselor for additional resources on your situation. Hey, uh, Principal Lynn, you, you got a minute? Hold on, girls. Trody? I thought you dropped out. Well, yeah, I did, but I think I want to re-enroll. Well, that's great to hear, Trody. Why the sudden change of plans? 
I think it'd just make going to college a little easier. Also, I got fired from Hot Topic. They said I let someone steal a shirt. So dumb. Oh, shit. Hey, what are you guys doing here? I thought you were skipping today. What? Why do you say that? They were in the mall like two hours ago. Oh, they said they were suffering from manic depression. Could you step outside for a bit? Uh, yeah, no problem. I meant Trody. Dropouts, am I right? Yeah, who can trust what they say? Manic depression, huh? Suicidal thoughts and all? I mean, I really want to die right now, so we're not all the way lying. Was it all worth it? Worth it for a t-shirt at the mall? You must be so depressed. We stole an MSI shirt from Hot Topic. What about that doesn't scream depression? Dude, can we just go to an easier book? This is the easier book. Is everyone in the Reading Buddies program this stupid? Hey, the principal sent you here to help me, so make good or I'm snitching hard. Okay, fine. All right, try this first page. Sound it out. Uh, w um, um, one fist her, two fist her. Are you serious? You picked a hard one on purpose. It's a Dr. Seuss book, you fucking dipshit. Oh yeah, sure. If it's so easy, why don't you try it, huh? One fish, two fish, red fish, you bitch. Huh? Wait, that last part is blue fish. See, I knew you couldn't do it. This is a really potent punishment. Fuck, now I want to drop out. Is Hooters hiring? Here we go again. What? School. It's senior year. You're not used to this by now. Are you? I'm not either, but you sound like a sitcom. Here we go again. Who invited this bitch? Shut up, Nicole. This is the girl with the Adderall. Emily? Emily, where the hell did you get so much Adderall? My boyfriend's 25. I can get whatever I want. That's kind of awesome. So what, a seven, eight-year age gap? That's pretty cool. That should work out. Yeah, so have you guys heard they're going to start giving out free syringes at South County? South County High School? Uh-huh. Before, they were trying to curb the opioid addiction, but now they're just trying to keep all the kids from getting Hep C or whatever. Are they giving free heroin, too, or just the needles? Yeah, just the needles. It sucks. Oh, do you do that? Kinda. My boyfriend got me into it, but it's just lines. Nothing serious. Your 25-year-old boyfriend dating you in high school got you into heroin? You guys are going to be awesome together. But if it's just lines, what do you want the needles for? For him, because he did it so much that, like... Eventually doesn't hit as hard, you know? I think he'll be hitting plenty hard. Just give it time. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what? No, no, she's just talking to herself. So can I buy Addie's at lunch today? Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, I gotta go. But yeah, she has a lot of Adderall. That's the opening comment after she leaves. Well, yeah, she's out there, but... Usually when I look in the mirror, all I see is a self-destructive pill-popping hoe. After five minutes with her, I feel like Selena Gomez. Like you feel Mexican? Never mind. Come on, let's hang out somewhere. I have school, Nicole. Dude, fuck that school shit. So from everything we had to do last week, you learned no lessons. Lessons are for fat bitches who think Pilates will make their husband want to have sex again. You always find, like, the meanest way to say something. So you're just leaving me? Don't be a baby. I'll probably see you at lunch. Where are you going anyway? Okay, you're going to want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor, and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... like the Springfield Clinic. And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. I'd need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties with homeless people. Homeless swinger parties? Yeah. And it's TMI, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex-in-general fetish. Small world, one of my... 
30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh... I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled! This sucks. This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but now I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, I was almost late filling it out. Like it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what I was gonna say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well I'm gonna go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? That didn't happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? My god, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I, I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? Are you a human text message? Um... Uh... Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no. Like, yeah, um, hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? You picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's gotta, like, take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't- Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking- Shut the fuck up. What is it? 
Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh... I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? <laughs> what did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. About that. See, um... I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started... Cutting myself. <gasps> Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? <laughs> Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh, my God. Do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, wait. Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well... What the fuck? No, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. Hose. Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. 
Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole... Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait! What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What, are you gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But are you... okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant... the other thing? Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia's gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So, around here... You really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school ten minutes from the capital. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part to the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's going to water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia. Good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area's like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay, or...? I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so 
hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl. But does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we... you know... Society creates laws. But laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, Counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Fuck your therapy, tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I... I really appreciate it. Uh Uh-huh. This is... Um... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um... Since we started doing this group counseling together, I've actually kinda been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's... It's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just, you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not, like, all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me what? You, um... Do you like girls, too? Oh, this shit's fun. Fun why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I... I guess I wasn't thinking... I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know. Anything you want? Anything? Damn. So any depraved-ass shit you're just down for. For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, self-esteem. Am I too desperate? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not gonna off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting me? Sorry, it works with guys, never mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm gonna be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. 
How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. Bitch. Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? Yeah, the one with the milkshake song? Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was 3 out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking 9 stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. I know, it's so dumb. Like, maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Are you saying that hating date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? I've heard of it. My dad made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long, though. What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? It's like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. But so another movie was- Oh, look who it is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you said. And we heard what you did to Ari. You'll really reject a gay girl, then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here? Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here it must be nice to ignore it. What, are you gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing Ari. Damn, that's a lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. And I think it's safe to say the people have spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. Homophobic? Come on, man. Am I going crazy here? Yeah, this feels a little over the top. Can you, like, talk to people for me and clear this up? Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari! Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own conclusion. Well, can you tell them to chill out? Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe in college. Dumbest advice ever. Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. What? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. As you might be aware, the school's GSA has been petitioning for your immediate expulsion. The fuck's a GSA? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a gay girl asks me out, I'm just not allowed to reject her? I'm not exactly sure that's what they're saying. The claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. What do I have to do to prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow that. Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then Channel 4, 5, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit! Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? Slightly better. She's stolen my homework excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me over first. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either. Look, it's either write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. Sensitivity retreat? Is that like conversion therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. You have a week to decide. You're excused. What a waste of time. Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? Your days are numbered, bitch. Holy shit, get a hobby. Sucks, don't it? Okay, let's hear your dumbass insult. What? Pile it on. I'm a homophobe, right? 
You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is sheep interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know, maybe the straight club? The straight club? Shh, it's on the DL, dude. What the hell is the straight club? Just a place for us straights, you know? A group to avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? More like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real all right, and you're invited. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, have pizza parties, just a wholesome get-together. Wholesome, huh? 100%. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck, too. It's straight club movie night. Swell. Guys, welcome our new member, Nicole. Oh, what's up? Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? Nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. So you're in the straight club, huh? Let's not use the word in. Visiting, then. I guess. Why are you in the straight club? Isn't it obvious? Don't make me say it. Well, okay. Maybe it's kind of a long story. It all goes back to when I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. Like video games and anime, for starters. Don't make me say it. And I love stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Yeah, that's what they said too. I saw other kids get bullied for being gay or foreign and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that's surprisingly clicks. Except for one thing. What's that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show, but then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. Uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics. It's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, fellow straights. I brought the movie, Nicole. Of course. Now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, coach? It's not Rambo 3 again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Seen it. I'm leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes it so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in the BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. So, Nicole, what brought you to the straight club anyway? Some drama, don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic because she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? Not blaming all of them. Yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks won't stop till society's underwater. We should publicly execute those weirdos. Now that's what I expected to hear at a straight club. What's her address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out, I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle. I told you I didn't know her fucking address. Kyla, Kyla, calm down! This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, I'm a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Great thinking, coach. Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. 
Come on, straight club. First a student files, then a drive down 95 where the gas is cheap. Down 95? Wouldn't that take forever? I'm not gonna burn our house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah! Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations! Hating these homos. I wonder if I'll get blamed for this, too. Who could help me out of this shit? What the? Where'd everybody go? Maybe I should find something other than being straight. Come on, come on, try not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. It's actually really bad. Oh, we'll see you later. Dude, wait! What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's all men! Oh. How are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies, that's all I gathered. They should be, they're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Cool, so they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh yeah, why would they burn her house down? Cause they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me and now they want revenge or something. They were set off like instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Cause it's a hate crime that I am gonna get blamed for. These guys are insane. They watch American History X with the ending cut out. But it's about a racist guy. Isn't cutting it down good? The ends where they learn how to not be racist. Okay, okay, I get it. Except for one little detail. What? Why the fuck did you come here? Call the police. When have the police ever done anything good for us? <sighs> All right, let me get my shoes. Is she already asleep? Ari? Ari! Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently 10 feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. What the fuck, still? Marathon. What do you want? It's almost 10. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. What the fuck do you want? You gotta get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. What? Who would set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already rejected me, now you want to prank me? She's not making it up, they're on the way! Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime! You really gotta get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up ten minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera! No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Drumline? Come on! What do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general just a heartless bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole, and I need you bad. Bitch, you need therapy. Okay, but she confessed her love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way! Fuck this bitch! Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh... What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No time! Get in the car! Remember how being nice lands you in hostage friendships? Well, the fear of being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. 
I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. And I gotta keep this up for another six and hope she doesn't figure the charade out before graduation. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you wanna watch Heroes? No, I don't wanna watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. Jekka's the only person who's in on it, and every day... See, there's homophobia here, but them burning our house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. If a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. Do you want me to? Y-yeah. How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It, it is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different. Like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go buy Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, he's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? Sorry to hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay! Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Mwah. Okay, I'll be right back! Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? 
Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before. I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls. It's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's going to try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full-time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole! It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend, or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Um... He was in jail, and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? 
Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You, you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it... It made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with a guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, then the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi? I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. 
We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now, she's just gonna be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her, I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville, do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say, he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. You ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. Ugh. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah, no? Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't! Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking? Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? 
about that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh god, where are you even going? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all the way. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, totally. I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? The that makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being helpful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. I'm 
Emily's out of her mind if she thinks she can sell at those prices. Mad you can't afford it? Please, I have three in my Ziploc. I'm fine. Yo, guys, what's good? What are you doing here? Not going to class. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I'm using my PSP to look at porn on the school's Wi-Fi. You can't just wait till you get home. Just to say I did it, you know. And you can't even talk. You both get fucked up in the middle of class. That could wait till you're home. You do too. You pop perks in front of the teacher. Yeah, that's because I have an actual medical condition, okay? You guys didn't bust your knee up playing lacrosse. Wait, no. If we're all getting fucked up in class, they cancel each other out. Yeah, so you still need to answer why you're looking at titty pics on your Game Boy. It's a PSP, dumbass. Why are you looking at titty pics on your Fisher-Price Blackberry? Yeah, that's a better name for it. Makes it sound official. You have a busy schedule? Yeah, busy telling bitches like you to fuck off. By the way, since we're all skipping, you guys want to, like, fuck around a little bit? You just told us to fuck off, and now you want us to fuck you? You're watching way too much porn if you think that's gonna work. Yeah, we only like being treated like shit when you're creative about it. Yeah, let's see what you got. Shut the fuck up, Jekka, pelican nose ass bitch. My nose is actually perfect. Nice try, though. Yeah, but the way you dress shows you might be insecure and overcompensating for your introverted childhood. Oh my god, see? Now I'm gonna be up all night reading into that. First she'll hate me, then she'll want me. All right, whatever, dude. Tell you what, I'll let you guys have the courtyard, but you gotta pay up in prescriptions, dog. I ran out of Oxy this morning, and I just need something to take the edge off. You called us bitches ten seconds ago, and now you want our drugs? Yeah, bitches need drugs. Can't help ya. Dude, this is so fucking not straight. Come on, I'll throw in five bucks. What the fuck do we do with five bucks? Uh, okay, fine. Seven. I don't even care what you give me. Just help me out. Oh, your Ziploc. Adderall? What the fuck does Adderall do for knee pain? It's like for focusing. It'll help him focus on something other than his knee pain. Okay, here you go. Sweet, awesome. All right, I'll see you yin-yang bitches later. Is he calling us Asian? Yeah, I don't... Do we look Asian? Last I checked, no. Then where the hell did he come up with that? Do you have one of those Chinese letter ass tats? No, but I actually wanted one in middle school. Did you want to be a stripper? Can a girl just do crazy shit to her body and have it be for herself? If it makes staring in the mirror more fun, go for it. Would you get one? A Chinese ass tat? No. Okay, what if it wasn't Chinese? Just of anything. Mechanical Animals lyrics. I haven't heard that album. It's pretty good. Just pretty good? You get a pretty good album tattooed on your ass forever? I'm gonna die before 30. Won't have to deal with it that long. Oh, why would you get married anyway? Shit, the coach is coming. No, no wait. I think he's just talking on the phone outside. Yeah, I'd be mad at OJ if he didn't kill him. Fuck these bitches, man. Does he not know he's still at work? The fuck I gotta meet girls at a bar for? I teach gym. My students are way easier. I don't think he knows anything. See, I can't decide what's more exciting. Cheating on my wife or buying a shotgun and blowing her fucking head off. <laughs> Who could he possibly talk about all this with? Hey, hey, for a pastor, you got a shit ton of fully automatic weapons. I can't listen to this. We need to go. Where? Anywhere but here. Hopefully somewhere that doesn't have a middle-aged pervert screaming about how much he likes killing women. Huh. I might have an idea. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember when the Jets had a white quarterback? You really think we should hide in the principal's office? I mean, it's kind of the last place you'd expect to look for kids skipping. That's true, but are we just going to sit here till the bell rings? We go through her drawers and see what's up with her. You're gonna go through her stuff? So not worth it. Would probably just be like pens and folders. I don't think so. No way with her. You think she's smuggling something? All I know is a woman who shows off that much cleavage at work is into some wild shit. I don't disagree, but what? Is she gonna have child porn in there? She's not a man, Jekka, so no. Yeah, that's true. Why do they always bring it to work? That domestically beats me. I have no fucking clue. So what could a female principal possibly have then? I just feel like she'd be into Satan worship, or at the very least have a sex diary. A Miss Lynn sex diary would be horrifying. She's like our teacher. We say that about Stephen King books. We still read those. Dear diary, hot candle wax hurts so good. No, it'd probably be like a thesaurus of words for good. Yeah, she probably sex with perfect grammar. My husband showed an exquisite exhibition of lust for me. Husband? She would never be married. Marriage is for ugly people. Oh shit. Step aside, girls! There's a perfectly good reason for why we're in here. Sorry, but we'll have to talk about this later. We have a bit of an emergency. Is it a fire? Do we need to go? No, one of the students is having a seizure. Oh my god. Yeah, they really gotta fix that ceiling light flicker. It wasn't the lights. A student had an allergy to something, and now they're having a fatal reaction on the floor. Totally been there. Not a seizure, though. Yes, hello? I have a student who needs immediate medical attention. Medical we think it's a seizure, and we need an ambulance ASAP. 
Isn't an ambulance ride like $5,000? Yeah, Fat Joe flexes the most on his way to cardiac surgery. What caused it? He took an unprescribed medication. I, I think he said it was Adderall before he passed out. Oh, fuck. Hold on a sec. What is it? Uh, well... Nothing. We just realized we gotta get to class. See you later, Miss Lynn. Good luck with Kyler. Yes, the front exit is always unlocked. Wait, how did you know it was Kyler? Uh, hold on, guys. I forgot my big gulp jug. Hey, do you know how Kyler passed out? Is he a friend of yours? Not really. Um, he's like my boyfriend. Sorry, girls, but we can only divulge medical information with family members. Family? He's my brother. You said he was your boyfriend. Can he not be both? He shouldn't be both. Will you stop judging her Swedish heritage and just tell us? So, essentially, his body shut down to the point where his lungs are barely functioning. If we didn't get him sooner, he could have lost a lot of brain cells. I didn't know five was a lot. But do you know exactly what caused it? We won't know anything until we get him to the hospital for a toxicology report. Since you're family, would you like to ride along in the ambulance with us? This must be very hard for you. Nah, it's okay. I don't care that much. Um, okay, so if that's it, I have very pressing matters to tend to. Where is my big gulp jug? Are they just gonna wait for him to get that? Yeah, I see Kyler in the back there. They're not driving off. You don't think they can, like, stomach pump the pills and find fingerprints on them, right? No way. I don't think so. Cool. Yeah, I don't care if he dies. I just don't want to be held responsible. Yeah, same. Do you think we should go to class now so this doesn't look suspicious? Yeah, we should change, too, to screw up his story if he tries snitching on us. Good call. Where are you going? We gotta get our story straight. I got a Xanax. It's a pink one. Whatever. It's tiny, but it'll do something, right? You're just gonna have to find out. Can you not be a stuck-up bitch about every single little thing? Why are you complaining? You got your pill. Go! Fine, bitches. I wanna listen to Coldplay on my iPod. And Coldplay isn't gay, either. What is wrong with him? I don't know, but I'm really mad we got kicked out of the cafeteria now. Why? I want ice cream, and the vending machine's too far away now. Why did I decide to skip in school? We could've done something cooler than this. I still got the Addies in my Ziploc. I would, but I just gave my last Xanax. If I don't take the Adderall with something to mellow me out, I'm gonna be grinding my teeth all day. Have you tried weed with it? Marijuana's for people who talk like Ninja Turtles. Girls, we're not talking about illicit activities, are we? No. Is getting fucked up an illicit activity? But yeah, so what's up? I should ask you the same. Class is in session, but you're in the courtyard. Oh yeah, we have a truncated schedule. Really now? I haven't been made aware of this. Yeah, they gave us one because we have issues. And just to be clear, what exactly does truncated mean? Like the definition? Yes. It's, uh, well, our next period back is English, so we could tell you then. Such a shame you girls get into so much trouble with bright futures ahead of yourselves. Come with me. Why do you always say it like that? Let me try something a little different here. Do you girls have thoughts and feelings for one another? Uh, I think Jekka's kind of spoiled. And I feel like Nicole's a bitch. Not quite what I was looking for. It seems that almost every time either of you are in trouble, you're always together. Is there something between the two of you that you may not realize? What does any of that even mean? He's asking if we're lesbians. Oh, you just love that, wouldn't you? Now, please, there's no need for contextual assumption. We could say the same to you. Be mindful of your venomous commentary. In my professional opinion, I believe it would be helpful for the both of you to trial some sort of affection to clear the tension between you. Trial affection? Are you telling us to make out in front of you? No, I'm asking you to physically express how you feel about one another in the safety of this judgment-free room. Okay, fine. Pat on the back. Good job, champ. Can we go now? Nicole, will you please refrain from being intellectually and emotionally dishonest? What does any of that mean? Dude, this is an American pie. You can't just get hot girls to tongue kiss in front of you. Yeah, you at least have to pay us. I'm afraid you're only hurting yourselves in fighting this exercise. Who the fuck lets you work here? I hope I'm not interrupting anything serious. No, this is pretty fucking serious. Uh, what can I help you with, Principal? If I could borrow your help for a moment, there's a student entirely passed out in the hallway. Uh, oh, oh my. Of course I could help. Who is it? It's Kyler. I, I found him out on the floor, unconscious. I know CPR. I remember my first Xanax. But you gave him a pink one. Aren't those tiny? Yeah, but if he's never done it before, it hits really hard. He's like six feet tall. You wouldn't pass out over a pink Xanax, Nicole. Am I a doctor now? I'm like a backpack pharmacist at best. How would I know? What if he found a Percocet and took them both? 
Can that kill you? I think we should ask. Uh, hold on. This is way better. Why didn't you think of this first? I don't know, I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, it's not the dark, it's just really red in here. I feel like the hoe's in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Uh-oh. We were just, um, developing pictures. But you're not even in this period. Okay, well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the dark room to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding a leaf is gonna wow Georgetown? Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. I'm not putting up with this. I'm gonna get the principal and you guys are gonna be expelled for good. Oh shit. You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? Uh, I don't have big love handles. Don't be ashamed, right, Jacka? Uh, yeah, um, Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, I gotta go to math now. Math class? You doing good at math? A for the year? A plus, actually. Is the plus for plus size? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Is that extra cheese at Chipotle necessary? I don't get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. It'd be so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Black boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, you don't like black guys? Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> I'm not racist! Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. I feel like we just gave her more fuel. Yeah, that might have entirely backfired. Yeah. God, I'm so hungry after doing that. The Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the Cheesy Biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the Cheesy Biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. We need to hang out less. We need to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. New hiding spot. I couldn't sell a single Addy. It's like Catholic school all over again. Are we going in circles? Yeah, this does look familiar. There you are! You have a lot of explaining to do! Shit, back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why referring to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy PowerPoints. They don't imply they're molesters. Come on, it was an isolated incident. Won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? No, but I guess I am. Oh, it's empty. I told you this is a good hiding spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the fuck threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I just want to be loved! <laughs> you bullied her into being fucking bulimic! Dude, she was probably already bulimic. <laughs> I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> See, I told ya, we had nothing to do with this. Well, if we don't get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. God, we gotta change, too. We probably smell like vomit by now. <laughs> yeah, now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how we made a bulimic girl relapse. <laughs> can I have it? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own. N no, come on, wait. Why should I? Because we wanted to talk about Twilight. What about Twilight? What's your opinion on how to read it? Okay, where's the principal? No, Karen, uh, what she meant to ask was if you like your favorite Twilight character more than Ron. Uh, well, Ron from the Potter books will always be my favorite, but Edward is a pretty close second. And you're gonna see the Twilight movie when it comes out? Well, yeah, I read all the books. At the place in Centerville, right? Because there's less people? Yeah, I know it's run down, but I'd rather the movie be empty so I can watch it in peace. Will the ticket stub go on your wall? For sure, it's such a big movie. I actually took some of the ticket stubs down for a collage I'm working on right now. Do you need any help? Me and Nicole could help. Help you fuck off. Shh. 
Uh, yeah, the glue can be tricky. I have it on a table out here. Uh, cool, yeah, we'll be right there in a sec. How the fuck did you know all that? We were friends in like sixth grade. Oh, socially obsolete. You made the upgrade and left her ass in the dust. It's not like I was trying to. Yeah, what's the story? I tried bringing her to lunch in middle school and she brought up Harry Potter while we're talking about the Paris Hilton sex tape. Oh, that's a bad awkward. And she directs it at you because she doesn't know anyone else? Yeah, so I looked like a fucking baby in front of the 8th graders. Wow, traded loyalty in for the acceptance of 8th graders. Fuck the acceptance. They were gonna let me try their cigarettes if they thought I was cool. So she nerded you out of free cigarettes? Yeah, I'd hate her too, honestly. I don't hate her, it's just like, what do you do with her? Ask her to hang out with you. No, I can't, it's weird now. You walk in the cafeteria and see her reading at lunch alone. She's like a hallucination reminding me of how much of a bitch I am. I only said all that shit so she'd forget about the principal. Wow, so you manipulated that poor book reader with her own childhood. She was your bestie, and you sold her up the river, you cold, heartless bitch. Fuck off, Nicole. You move every two years. You don't have to deal with this shit. I'm just gonna graduate, go to college, smoke a shit ton of salvia, and forget about her. Hey, was there a slowdown? What's the problem? Too many to list. Sorry, just sorting out the ticket stubs. You said you only save them for the special movies, right? Yeah. Why do you have the ticket stub for Balls of Fury? Is that the ping pong movie with the fat guy from Lost? I guess. You put it next to the Star Wars one. They're basically the same movie. Thanks again for the help. Yeah, no problem. So anyway, did you hear what happened with Kelly last week? No. She was at a party and somebody walked in on her right as a guy skeeted on her face. What the hell? Why wouldn't she lock the door? I think she wants to get caught. Uh, what do you think, Karen? What's skeeted? Huh? Huh. Skeeted on? What does that mean? Um, so it's like when a boy- Dude, it's not that hard. It just means to compliment something. Excuse me? Well, why don't you just say compliment? It's just slang. Skeet, skeeting, skeeted on. Like how Jekka skeeted on my collage? Oh my god. Exactly. I'm skeeting all over your collage right now. It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it took so long to put together. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Hang out with me and Jekka more and guys are going to be skeeting all over you. You really think guys would want to skeet on me? Yeah, with your glasses on and everything. You're unbelievable. What's wrong, Jekka? Oh, um, nothing. Just... nothing. By the way, I like your outfit. Did anyone skeet on you today? No, I'm pretty elusive. She's just being humble, Karen. Jekka really likes it when three or four guys skeet on her at once. Wow, that many? I've always thought you were really pretty, so it makes sense. Thanks. Yeah, and she never wants it to stop. Not until she's gagging on compliments. Okay, so me and Nicole need to go now, but good luck with your collage, Karen. No problem. I'll see you guys later sometime. Yeah, so girls, uh, if your moms are single, you know who to let know. You know what I'm saying? My mom's married. Why do you want to fuck our mom so bad? Yeah, my mom's the last person I want to fuck. What the hell do you see in her? Whoa, whoa, girls, why you gotta go there? If you don't go to the ATM and get each of us $100, we're gonna report you. Damn it. All right, where's my car? And we want it in fives. You know the purple five? Oh, I love the purple five. Yeah, purple fives, bitch. Who's a bitch? Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, hey. Hi, Karen. Why is Kyler with you? Well, we just spoke this morning and kind of hit it off. Really? Really? Yeah, he's actually really nice. He told me he never skeeted on a girl with glasses before and wanted me to be his first. Did he now? Yeah, baller shot caller, dude. Then one thing led to another, and we're hanging out this Friday. And it's all thanks to you, Nicole. Oh, uh, I don't mention it to anyone. If you never taught me about that slang... Me and Kyler would have never understood each other, let alone set something up. Or the other four guys hanging out with me this week. Four guys? Yeah, Nicole was right. I'm really popular now, and all it took was one phrase. I you mean skating? Damn right she means skating. One guy asked to do it at the movies, another guy at the football game, and then one guy was really surprised when I said he could skeet all over me in public. Uh... Some guys are just shy, you know. I used to be like that, but this really broke me out of my shell. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Can I get into your hair, too? Why are you Hitler? Is that a band, or are you calling me Hitler? What the fuck is gonna happen when she goes out with these guys? Your little prank turned a nice Twilight girl into the school slut. Relax, she'll probably run away when they whip it out. And what if she doesn't, Nicole? What if she fills her void of friendship with male attention? Uh, 
Are we talking about my mom or Karen right now? Now when I look at her in lunch, I'm just gonna think about guys plastering the fuck out of her. She was my childhood, Nicole. Hold on, so the idea of her getting sexually manipulated is less important than your ability to objectify her as a childhood memory. What's wrong with that? Uh, I mean, I don't care. You're a good friend. I thought I was Hitler. You're a really pretty brunette Hitler with a drug problem. See, if guys came up with that, I'd actually try dating them. Anyway, I gotta go to class. I gotta wait for Mr. Colby to come back with the money. Oh, well, what are you doing after that? Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. What makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> so anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. (laughs) No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... uh... Like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. (laughs) All right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. So just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. Yeah, no fight in you, huh? What the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent? Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's J-Lo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script. Than this? I totally could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So, if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Who the fuck would want to watch that? Her superpower is nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill, Sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. So, how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario, and you play it out and get feedback afterwards. Oh, yeah, makes sense. So, the scene is you're a newlywed husband and wife in 1949, and the wife wants to know what the war was like. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? It was 1949. Everybody was just getting out of the war, or at least knew someone, right? 
Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. Hey, you seem kind of upset. Is there a thing you want to talk about? Nah, I'm good. Oh, well, do you want to hear about the war? No. Wait, wait. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. That was the plan. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? The N-word. Wh- why would you want to say that? It's 1949, isn't it? Don't we usually say the N-word? Oh, may- maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949's a great year, for us anyway. Uh-huh, I- I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? See what? That different colored family pulling up in a Lincoln? You want to do the honors? What are the honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949. Why wouldn't you? Oh, right. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. Do you want to join the KKK? It's normal right now. No? Dude, what the fuck? Megan! What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but- Another no. I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're gonna do this exercise. Yeah, but the situation got kinda- The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N-word. If you do it again, I have the power to fail you for the quarter. All right, so, uh, resume scene. But yeah, honey, should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? Okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N-word as much as possible when describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how'd we do? Uh, I'm gonna have a talk with Megan. Shit. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About... Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me! Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject! We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead! Call me ugly again. No thanks. Uh, Can I go? Aw, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring, and then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking root you up, get you suspended, like, all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass, though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no, I support you, I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? 
Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one, you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for what? Megan's life? A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. (laughs) Oh. Sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's going to be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners- SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! GO AWAY! Oh. Wasn't that kinda harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it, but, uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like... uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, Honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor-actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love roleplaying. Oh, cool. What are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role-playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? 
Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. (laughs) I'll do it. (gasps) Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just gonna serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I gonna do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But... But what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, uh, And scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well... Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. You know world star hip-hop? No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone, like, all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got ten... 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh, why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! 
Maybe that's why you want to include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway. Who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really. It's just caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... Us? What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? Yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Uh, like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like, all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah. And while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and... Oh, God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him Father, but not Daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. 
Oh, uh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French 2 and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. Well, he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those those. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do wanna do? You know what I wanna do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So... Playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement. Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay. Thanks, guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Aw, oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. 
But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. I haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic, but let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... I got him. Got what? You know what. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. Run less than five guys, phones off, let's get it together. Megan's number, check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out, check. Hey, Nicole, good luck tonight. Good luck to you too. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw a few characters. We're gonna draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper without the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters, any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause, anything you feel is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? 
What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Bitch, you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? They'd rather see an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Oh, man. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record, don't be jealous. You're on your final warning, Nicole. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. Really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you, the classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. We'll see about that. Again, final warning! I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh-huh. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act? Have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? What? Hey! You're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite. Second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things. But one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Who, who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends? I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. No, I was extra mean to get written up so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a- Just stop there. Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Yeah. That's really good. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? 
Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are gonna go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's gonna be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just gonna let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. What the fuck? I should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principle. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I could sit with you if you want. No, fuck off! You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. See? He's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with ya. So, are you writing me up, or...? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. Good news, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight alimony checks a month. Why the fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job in catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know, took them long enough. No, what the fuck? 
is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. But weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm going to go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. Jacko is freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Hey, you got put in remedial English too? Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. Nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-based fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. What was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. So this is remedial classes. All right, time to start. I want to see you all in your assigned seats. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Oh, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one ear bud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge caravan, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African American community. You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double-spaced, and feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing the slang? I might too, it's okay. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Kyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Of oh, this fucking guy. It wasn't even negative. How's calling some bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? 
Triple C's? No, bitch, quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the Beltway, they don't care at all. Now, if only I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get high on cough medicine. What? Like, we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 1030. This way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Well, where do you wanna go? I don't know. Out? Around? I got a prescription to pick up. We could go do that. Do that as in go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't do that with Sarah Quell. It's not a fun high. Oh. So what's Sarah Quell for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic, or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed her tires. Cool. Yeah. So, you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. I kinda wanna, but I just can't right now. I told you, the papers don't need to be good, they just need to be done. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What, so you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting. I'm plotting heavy. I wanna write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. And when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rap music too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, shit. Yeah, she always says that as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm going to skip anyway. Do you want to hang out, though? You know, yeah. Come over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not going to bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Not a big fan, huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh, so what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows, studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now? And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? 
I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You want to meet her? I'd love to. Cool, because she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you want to meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God, every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not going to introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What? I can't even know her name. Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. Are you going to see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the other other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you going to see it? No. Why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's, like, different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No. Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jekka said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did they end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So, you think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her fired. Yeah, but you're going to write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving head isn't a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see you guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the almighty creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip-hop 
artists, if you could even call them that. This paper's gonna be so fucking easy. Nicole, I didn't know you were in AP history. Huh? No, I'm not in AP history. Then why are you reading Mein Kampf? I'm racist now. Oh, all right. Man, Ari's cool about anything. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes in a story. Big fan of the message in Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with you? Why do they block MySpace on the Wi-Fi? Because you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler, F. <laughs> F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. I'll give you the stink piece, motherfucker. How do you fail a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, an MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! D. <laughs> Are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D and remedial, you're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh-huh. A. <gasps> a? A as in A or the Lauda, or like the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. As if, right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. Why would they pick the cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Seroquel doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm gonna kill myself. Nicole! No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. I would actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star students. Hey, oh, we need you with the sandwich trays! Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. 
School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right. And as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper, we think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. Nicole? Would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right, so this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. <laughs> Look at all these sexless marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got tempo at three o'clock. <clears throat> As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre owns itself to be a foreign people, yet even here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that... What is this again? Uh-oh. Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national consciousness of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers, again, slyly dupe the dumb, massive... Politics are weird. Like, really fucking weird. Like, everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up! The school itself was a problem too, because every guy watches South Park and Jews been like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know, I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? <laughs> 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. Yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottle openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But first we gotta stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? 
How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an ex, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana's a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? You don't? No, I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30, school's been over. Wow. Time is, like, automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is, like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze? Like, Blaziken the Pokemon? What? Pikachu's a Pokemon? What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. Y you're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. Are we going to do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. In, like, a date sort of way? Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um... Oh, look at this! Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um... Okay... What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us, either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes! You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. What? 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 I, is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up! I don't understand! I am a virgin! Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokémon before going down on me? 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday! Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them! Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh no! You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go! What the... Karen, no! Come back! I feel... <sighs> better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that was productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole!
Cole, where have you been all night? I don't know. Are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, Mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half. Like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, Whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this med shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. How do I do this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames? What is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. Oh, Oh, no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the Cat in the Hat live-action movie. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses the line. Bitch, what line? Exactly. Miss Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. <sighs> you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. 
I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. What was the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are going to go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? Because you're going to keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C is in Atlanta Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't be a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on. But why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, uh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh... Damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, he fucked all his shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin? May as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan of our high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and- A mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, ho hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Voices where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. 
And that is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. It was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, All work is sex work under it. I met the crying uh, front of the class. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead, when you're ready. Uh, no warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole-ass poser. <laughs> and why's that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. The poetry's linked to the poet, good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around, lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected, and especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hummerway, Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C plus. That's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? <laughs> Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. <gasps> That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. <laughs> this is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. Unity. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? It's honestly super humbling when the trashiest girl you know, probably coked out of her mind, says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was 
just diluted enough to where I didn't die. Can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch The Office. The Office? The TV show? Yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. You'll love it. Hey, I like The Office. So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it, why not join her? Cause she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do you a little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Oh yeah, you'll see. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I washed my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work at my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? God, I drew for an hour and then in two days I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Laurie? Uh, both? Oh, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating on him and- Wait, wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell you. No, come on. I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. So you go ahead and tell me, okay? It was the UPS man. <laughs> Holy shit. What? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust you. Thank you. She's fucking down? Yeah, he's pathetic, right? What if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. Who invited you? Me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to like, he, he was kind of going at you. We're not going to fuck either of you. Oh, uh, whatever then. Yeah, no, um. They literally do that every week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. They're the gay channel. It's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the class.
classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final product. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? When it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, No, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? You have two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The MILF window's closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my Valium? Top shelf on the left. Why do guys say we when they talk about football teams? Hold on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. You should move when you graduate. Unfortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. I will now walk around to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean, whatever. Now, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it with the class. If you say so. This is... What is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the UPS man. (laughs) What? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. (laughs) This bitch better have some Valium left. Expelled! Guess not. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely? 
definitely. Yeah, indefinitely. Meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, Mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit, get out of my house. Go drink some wine. You're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it! God damn it. Hurry up. I texted like five minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Pib, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch. Tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. Dad will probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wonder which mall has the softest benches. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You add the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. You know what I meant. Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Have you never thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110, here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate the homeless. Okay. Seriously, like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. Yeah, but that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus Christ. What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta figure something out. In a hardware store alone. Now I know how it feels to be racist. Oh, hey, Nicole. Uh, oh wait, it's not awkward. Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not my president. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. Dude, I'm out of high school. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. Are you even- You're a whore. 
Excuse me? I have a boyfriend and a purity ring. For real? How do I get one? A little late for you. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. I don't need to take this. I'm on the honor roll, something you'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Are you threatening me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Cokehead slut! And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. Hand wash for only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. You drive a Corolla. What are you worried about? Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look... I mean... Yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Not to brag. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. Since when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? I gotta find a new spot. Teachers are charitable, right? Damn, you went 60 and a 10! Oh, hey, sweetie, what you doing here on a Saturday? I'm doing a car wash. Are you sure you're allowed to do that at school without staff supervision? I'm a student here, it's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write-off. How is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. Wow, so you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen, then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? Years in prison at this rate. Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well, I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh... Well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. No, actually, as I recall, you were offering him a topless car wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Who's the whore now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. God, my space. Okay, so welcome to FYE. I thought it was FI. Uh, no. FYE, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly. I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school together. Do we? I don't think we've properly met. Are you fucking with me? Okay, Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but not in front of the customers. So, first training question. What does FYE stand for? For your excitement? Try again. For your ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. For your entertainment? Good. But not only are the products for the customer's entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you wanna sell that rewards program. Is that optional? Sell it once a month or else you're fired. Oh, and after hours, am I allowed to sleep in the break room? I mean... I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night. Even the days I'm not working, I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want then, go-getter. And do you drug test? No. It's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. Glad to hear. Let's go out on the floor so I can show you how it's done. Okay, we're just opening, so some customers are gonna show soon. Remember the four steps to the register? Greet, compliment, help, entertain. Oh my god, good memory. I try, because I have to now. Oh, customer, watch this. Hey, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Oh, yeah, hey. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh, yeah, most people were kind of down on this Guns N' Roses. Really? I thought it was even better than the first movie. Movie? So you looking for anything in particular? Uh, some DVD box sets for a road trip. Oh, yeah, collections are right over here. 
but you gotta pick the right one or you're in for a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Oh man, sorry to hear. What a mistake. And the difference between this and whoring myself out on MySpace is... I wonder if this place has anime. Nicole? Hi, welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way, nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you don't look like a regular rapist. Thanks. So are you looking for anything? Well, actually, I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. Um, do you have any? No, we don't carry anime, so sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed till you were eight. What? You're just saying that because of my breast milk fetish. Oh, now you really have to leave. But, but, but... Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. My mom got it for me at Target. That's really hot. What brings you here today? Anime. So, we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. Oh, okay. I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? Okay, I get a redo. That was a psycho customer. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. Yeah, but you didn't see the other weird shit about his breast milk fetish. Nicole, we're in the business of sales. If the customer says he has a breast milk fetish, you tell that bitch to drink up. That's insane. That's customer service. He won't remember what he bought. But he will remember telling the pretty girl working at FYE about breast milk and her being totally cool with it. I don't get it. Is this Hooters? Basically. But instead of wings, we sell DVDs. And instead of a boob job, you get a lip ring. Why the hell did I get a job? This is just as degrading as selling my body on MySpace. You can do that? Hell yeah. Emily told me. It's on the internet so the cops don't track it. I've been having sex for free this whole time. You're telling me I could have got paid for it? Yeah, you want to try it with me? Fuck this place, let's quit. I'm the manager, remember? So you get a lanyard, big deal. This lanyard means I make $9.25 an hour, plus discounts, plus benefits. Yeah, you're kind of set for life here. How long do we have to work before they give us the lip ring? We don't give you one. You just get it yourself. Oh. Well, I quit then. Okay, it was nice working with you. Yeah, good luck. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere, it just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically, I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about dirty little rental? Little slutty. All right, what about pierced princess. Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX pierced princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from, like, hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that when you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh, Cream Pie Casanova 420. Yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. You know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What, do you think everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit and Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. 
I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but how's being a whore going? Escort? Or that, whatever means money for sex. On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. For real? What I'm saying is being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. I can't beg sober. I can't starve sober. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, which is the last place you want to be sober in. I guess. It's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. Are you trying to guilt me right now? I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want from me? This is so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to get me through it. Also, please keep this to yourself. I have a high-profile career and don't want this getting around. High-profile means rich. And rich means blackmail money. But I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library computers. Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're like really distinctive in a hot way. You could like be in Playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Christ, whatever. Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Okay, that camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player, or Steve Jobs, or the guy who invented Adderall. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark, he probably can't even recognize me. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. What the fuck? You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori! Oh, God! You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? I'm Nicole 
please don't. Oh, no. That's why your wife left you. You kept paying for ass on the internet. Emily, come out here. Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were going to be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses. Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been doing this? Girls, please. I'm just very anxious. I popped three Zans, and I'm still freaking out. How do you think I feel? No, come on. Let, let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that. This dude got me expelled. He ruined my life. I'm sorry, Nicole. Just... Please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand. Each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell a soul. You know, damn well we told after we got the money. I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything just kind of worked out. Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Jekka was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, This is true. Why the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom. And your brother. And anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if he ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know, the ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Why is smoking indoors so bad anyway? Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. But it smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. They make you look cool, too. I feel like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat-ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. Like, sorry, bitch, I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. I'm so glad we could do this. It's so hard to smoke in front of the school now. What happened? So my perfect time to go out and do it was like 9, 9.30. And in the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. Because you're in trouble? No, that's why it's weird. It's like little small talk, commenting on my outfit, you're too pretty to smoke, it just ruins my whole morning now. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And no matter where you are, he always finds you? Does he use the dress code to hit on you? Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school, looks right down the titties. Yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? Go look at porn on your work computer and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor, you can smoke, but as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me, he'll immediately rat. Wow, so it's either don't smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily the second one. I literally can't function without this now. I still haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you turn 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. 
What the hell are you guys doing in here? Oh, shit. Uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the smoke in here? Mom said you can't smoke in the house. Mom also said move the fuck out. You're 27. But I guess that didn't register either. As if. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the basement was your video game office you happen to sleep in seven nights a week. Office sleep seven nights a week? Working hard. I don't sleep there every night, okay? I got other places to be and shit. Since when are you so defensive about living in the basement? I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive, and I don't even sleep there. Oh, I know why. What? You're trying to look cool because there's a girl here. No. It's the cigarettes. They make me look hot. Look, all I did was come up here starving for lunch, and now my appetite's ruined because of how bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat after I smoke either. Me too. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. I'm calling mom. Uh, Okay, okay. Hey, wait. This better be good. Uh, let me get the smoke odor spray in my room. You guys just chat while I'm gone. But yeah, uh, it's an office. In the basement? It's a basement office. Right. So, so you hang out a lot? I guess. Doesn't everybody? Oh, well, you know, some people get busy with, with school and stuff. Are you in school? Take a hiatus, kind of. Was working on my master's in game design. Where was that? DeVry. Kind of under the radar. Not really. They're on TV every day. But yeah, all that, all that stuff's kind of boring. You like hanging out here? Not right now. Because even if Nicole isn't around, you can still come here if you want. I like hanging out. You want to hang out with a high school girl by yourself? How old are you? 20, uh, 27. But it's just a number. Like, whatever. I like numbers. You like numbers? Yeah, yeah, numbers are cool. Fucking math and shit. Math, yeah. What's 48 divided by 4? Oh, shit, um, the, uh, 12. It's 12, right? Yeah, that's right. Cool, yeah. Why, why do you ask? Because when you learn how to solve that, I wasn't even alive. Tabloids are such a guilty pleasure. Zac Efron gay? My condolences to the hoes. What the fuck is this? A bedroom? You really left me with your brother to go up here and read a magazine? I didn't think you'd stay down there that long. Cause I thought you were coming back with a smoke spray? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I just disassociate. Do you even know what that means? No, but I heard a girl say it once. Sounded like a good excuse. You have no idea how awkward that was. I was hearing music down there. I thought you were having fun. No, he just put on a bunch of techno music. And then he got mad after I called it techno. Breakbeat. I was about to break the fucking stereo before I came up here. Okay, so he talked to you and played some shitty music. What's the big deal? Your brother was hitting on me, Nicole. Seriously? He was asking me to come over even when you weren't here. What's that sound like to you? Sounds like he wants to score. And you went up in your little room and let it happen. I can never come here again. It's too awkward now. That's a little dramatic. He's in the basement most of the time anyway. But what if he comes up? It's just weird now. So you're just never coming back? Unless you kill your brother? No. But then I gotta go to jail. Don't even stress over it. I don't really think I want to hang out anymore anyway. Are you serious? You get hit on by gross weird guys all the time. Yeah, but after that they're blocked out of my memory. If I have one who's always at my friend's house, I can't do that anymore. It's like a Jewish girl marrying a neo-Nazi. She'll never not think about the Holocaust. You are being so dramatic right now. It's like you don't even fucking care. Okay, bye Nicole. I'm done. Wait, were you actually like... Ugh, God damn it. Camel Crush, the most interactive cigarette. <laughs> Nine, ten in the morning. So far, so good. Jessica, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Enjoying yourself out here yet again? I guess. You guess? Is everything okay? No, no, everything's okay. Good. And if it ever isn't, you know I'm always open to talk about it. Totally, yeah. Thanks. By the way, you're looking beautiful today as always. I hope your vice here won't tamper with that. Got it covered, don't worry. So, what have you been up to over the weekend? Um... I downloaded the Carter 3 off LimeWire. Oh, I see. Is that a movie? I'm not familiar with the first two Carters. It's an album. Right. Are you liking it so far? Doesn't everybody? Well, hopefully they could play some of it at homecoming this year, if it's school appropriate. Yeah, if I'm even going. Now, you wouldn't be having trouble finding a date, would you? Excuse me? It's just that smoking habit of yours might leave a smell that could put the boys off. 
really don't think it puts any guy off. Well, in any event, if you ever need to change to get the smell off, you're always welcome to use my office. Why wouldn't I just use the locker room? The gym teachers would catch that smell immediately and bombard you with questions. Though in my office, it would be our little secret. High school can be very hard, so it helps to have an adult who really understands you. Totally, yeah. Uh, so is that it? Now, you're not trying to get rid of me, are you? Why would I ever want to do that? <laughs> just playing around. But before I go... I just need to remind you of the school's dress code once again. What about it? I'm seeing your shirt alone has a few infractions. You get a good look. Bitch! Oh. Hey, what's that for? For reading your little anime book in front of me, you fucking Lego collector. I already said this. It's called manga. I'm gonna call your mom and tell her sorry she'll never have grandkids. What? No, don't kick me down there. I don't need to, because the more Mario trivia you know, the less women want to fuck you. And you know a whole lot of Mario trivia, don't you, Jeffrey? M more so the canon of the Mushroom Kingdom. You are gonna fuck so many kids in your 30s. How do video games and anime make me a kid like her, huh? That's like asking how does heroin make you a drug addict. I'm getting real tired of you picking on me. It won't be so fun when the shoe's on the other foot. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me in Skechers? Well, um, uh... I'll take the gun you're saving for the cheerleaders and shoot you in the fucking face with it! All right, that is quite enough, Nicole. What? What'd I do? What I've heard in your verbal attack on Jeffrey is very troubling and downright heinous. Yeah, you forgot everything they said in the bullying assembly. Yeah, those work. Confronted by a staff member and not even an ounce of remorse, this is how Virginia Tech happened, Nicole. Wait, do you mean he's doing the shooting? Because you should probably talk to him then. Go to class, Jeffrey. I'll deal with this troubled student myself. Thanks. You've always had the backs of us students. This is mandatory counseling, Nicole. You'll be in my office every day for the rest of the year until you show improvement. Fucking every day? For how long? You'll be excused from your classes for one hour. This used to be my break time, but now I'll be seeing you in my office 9 a.m. sharp starting tomorrow. Is that clear? Dude, that's so early. Is that clear? Sure, whatever. Now off to class, both of you. How is that rest of the year punishment? Um, what did Jeffrey do? Nothing. Wait, then why did you... You can smoke by yourself again, right? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. It's kind of sad. Do you want to hang out later? I can hang out now. Let's get the fuck out of here. I really can't miss class today. Are you going somewhere anyway? What about lunch? What about lunch? Don't call mom. We could just go get you a pizza and, like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, you can't miss lunch. You're gonna be so hungry. Oh, uh, say it like that again. That's hot. God damn it. Dude, we'll look the other way on your minor fetish and get you a pizza, okay? Does he have a major fetish? No, his major fetish is a minor fetish. So what's the fetish? I told you, a minor fetish. I know it's a minor fetish. What's the fetish for? Minors. Like guys that did coal? Not those minors. So shitty baseball players? What? No. Then what's the fetish? Um, he's into girls under the age of 18. Oh, that's not good. Why are we getting him pizza? Are you guys actually gonna get me food? Yeah, sure, we'll pick it up somewhere. Let's go. Wait, I didn't even tell you what I wanted on the pizza! What is it? Okay, uh, pepperoni, ham, bacon, meatballs, sausage, and sliced sausage too. So like the crumbled American sausage with the more Italian sliced sausage, chicken, buffalo chicken, extra cheese. Is this a pizza or a grocery list? So you got all that? Uh, yeah. Could we borrow a 20? Oh yeah, here you go. Mom left me extra pizza money today anyway. At 27. Okay, we'll be right back. Fucking dumb bitches. I had McDonald's in my room the whole time. Now I have two lunches. Uh, why didn't we call first? This is gonna take forever. Why did we even go to the barcade for a pizza? Why not? They have pizza. No, but we could have gone to Joe's or Mama Lucia's. Yeah, what's your point? It's gonna be shitty here. We're in the Beltway. The pizza's shitty everywhere. That makes sense. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Jekka. Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm Kyle. I sat behind you in French last year. French too now? No, 
French the language class, remember? I let you copy off my test. Okay. Hi. Yeah, didn't think I'd run into anyone here. Are you guys skipping too? Maybe. Why are you skipping? Uh, just need to blow off some steam, play a couple games here and stuff. You skip to play video games? That's really cool and would never discourage girls from having sex with you. Well, why are you skipping? You get fucked up? Why else? Cool, yeah. So, you wanna hang out? Do I wanna hang out, or do I wanna go out? Uh, both? I don't know. No, I don't even know you. We had class last year. You've gone out with guys you don't know before. How would you know that if you only had one class with her? Yeah, what the fuck? Forget that. Come on, what did those other guys have that I didn't? They were older and more attractive. So it's all about looks with you? It's not just looks, they could buy me alcohol too. But I let you copy off my test, you got a B plus. What, are we fucking over B pluses now? At least lie and say it was an A. If it was an A, would you have considered it more? What do you think the answer is? Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, literally don't be you. Kill your mom, even I'd go out with you then. What the fuck? Yeah, actually, then you'd be halfway cool. You guys can't mess around like that. I'm not messing around. Yeah, we're not. It's either me or your mom. Pick one. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, guys. Oh, I am serious. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. Uh, oh, damn, I left my credit card in the car. Credit card? Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Wait, Visa, Discover, what's the credit limit? Uh, oh, no, it's like the token credit card you swipe to play the games here. This is why you're a virgin. It's like one step forward and twelve steps back. Oh my god, I know. You were convincing there for a second. I was? Kill your mom and I'm all yours. That was actually hot. I'm all yours. Perfect timing. Is the box two colors or is that grease? We got the pizza! Fuck, I forgot to buy cigarettes. Now you remember. Wait, you're not old enough to buy any? No, the little gas stations don't even card you. There's one right off the Beltway, but we didn't go back that way. What are you talking about? That one cards you. They carded me. Was it the Indian guy? Yeah. He'll always card you. Go on the days when the Mexican guy's working there. How the fuck would I know what days he's working there? When you have a car, you'll know. Dude, where is he? The grease is gonna get solid. Hello? What if he's in the shower? Good one. Were there this many scuffs on the carpet before we left? Holy shit, what happened? Wait, his laptop's open out here. Is that usual? Uh, oh god, not with 20 porn tabs open. Literally 20? 1, 2, 3, 16. Who needs that much porn at once? People with more game systems than exes. Every tab is a different fetish site, too. Like what? Uh, jigglyjihadist.com, belowtheborderlatinas.net, asiangirldynasty.org. I didn't think your brother would be into such... Racially charged porn. I didn't think my brother would be into women at all. Wait. Oh god, what? After those, there's a bunch of milfdaycare.com, kidnappedbabysitters.html, barelylegal.gov, and almostlegal.co.jp? I've heard of barely legal. What the hell is- Holy that? fuck, too young! What is she, Asian? Oh god, that kind of too young! The Russian roulette of internet history! Are we in the system now? I'm not a lawyer, how the fuck should I know? If you only look for a second, five second rule, right? That's your food on the floor, not child porn! Oh my god. What are you girls doing here? I live here, what are you doing here? We made an arrest at this residence ten minutes ago, but forgot to secure the evidence. You arrested my brother? On possession of child pornography! If you'll excuse me, I'll need that laptop. Wait! What? Were you looking at this almost legal website while I was gone? It was just left open like that, we swear! I don't know. You girls have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, I think you're the one who needs to explain. Yes? Yeah, because we might have seen the screen, but look at the webcam above it. I see it, but I don't follow. We're both still in high school, and you walked in on us shooting our own child porn video. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure seeing it live is way more illegal than seeing it on a screen. Caught right on video, barging in on the set. Pathetic. I've never heard such BS in my life. You were standing here fully clothed. Yeah, because you walked in on the start of the video. Right? What's porn without buildup? You had a pizza in your hand when I walked in. Oh, shit. Well, no, because... I was playing the butch pizza delivery girl. And I was playing the lipstick lesbian with no money for the pizza. Yeah, and I'm like, bitch, how are you gonna pay for this pizza? Then you walked in and ruined the whole scene. Now we gotta do it all over again. You're basically forcing us to make child porn twice. That's fucked up. 
So go ahead, arrest us, because there's going to be some spicy outtakes played in court. Oh, God. Look, girls, why don't you just give me the laptop and we all forget we saw anything? So you can destroy the evidence against you? No thanks. Yeah, get the fuck out of here before we call the other cops. Why did they send me alone? God, that was close. So if he's in jail, you want to eat this pizza with me? I'd rather not have gout. So then it got to the part where he's like, what do you mean, you people? And I just turned the movie off and went to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's... wow. Robert Downey should get back on heroin, then his movies wouldn't suck anymore. Right? Yeah. Am I boring you? What? No, it's just like, I'm exhausted from yesterday. Yeah, that was like an anomaly. Holy shit. Was it? Or the week before that? Or the week before that? Why do our lives have to be so fucking eventful? That's a legit question. Shit. Do you believe in God? Do you? No. Me neither. You don't think- We are not going to church. I know that number. I wonder who this is. Let me guess. Bomb threat rape this murder guy. Oh my god. Hello? Hello. This is the Woodburn Correctional Holding Facility. I know it. You have a collect call from- it's your brother, bitch. Pick up. To accept these charges, press one. Yeah, whatever. Nicole, why isn't mom picking her phone up? I don't know. Call her up and ask her. All right, whatever. Look, I need you to do me a major solid. You still have that pizza? Maybe? Why? Okay, so I need you to take the pizza and bake it inside of a cake and then have the cake sent to me. You want me to smuggle you a pizza through a cake? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll just let you have a pizza. Well, no, there's an outside gifts limit, and if you bake it inside, I can have the cake and pizza. That's genius, right? Holy fuck, he's fat. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, is that your blonde friend? Yeah... Why? I met someone in here who wants to talk to her. Hold on a sec, okay? I'm scared. That's gonna be a really expensive phone call. Thanks. Uh, hello? Who dis? It's me, Kyle. Kyle who? We were at the barcade yesterday, remember? Oh, shit. Yeah? So, I thought it over, and I killed my mom. So, you wanna go out in ten years when they let me out? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Aw, oh, come on, you promised! You can't back out now! What do you think, Nicole? I'm thinking how the fuck are you getting out in ten years? You wanna hear how I killed her? Would that turn you guys on? Would it? What the fuck? Hang up! You said you'd be all mine! All mine! That was cool. I've never felt worse in my life. Dude, don't worry about it. The fact he followed through means his mom was probably a total bitch anyway. I guess that's possible. And look on the bright side. He killed her for you. You're technically the hottest girl in school now. You're kind of right. There might be a Lifetime movie about this where Miley Cyrus plays you too. Ew, fuck that bitch. I don't want her to play me. Then who? Uh, I'll think it over in class. You going this time? Not to change the subject, but you look kind of hungry, dude. Oh my god. How can someone look hungry? Just all that hard police work, you know? Why don't you go ahead and pick up your evidence and take this pizza with you? What's on the pizza? Everything but vegetables. You wouldn't be trying to bribe a police officer, would you? Are you asking to assert your morals or asking to see if we'll up the ante? Let's just say the law is written in pencil. What else would you have for me? Jesus Christ. Fifty dollars. Cash. I'm not risking my pension over fifty dollars. No, no. Also, um... Old white guy, uh... I have my dad's World War II DVDs. Now you're talking. Keep going. You drive a hard bargain. We also have the complete series of Sex in the City on VHS. What kind of yuppie garbage is- Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I say that? I meant home improvement. Oh, now we're talking. Tim Allen, legend. She's also got this old camera. It still shoots and everything. It's rolling right now. Yeah, you could pawn that. Then the $50 turns into $57. Interesting. However, you'll need to have way more than that if you want me to risk my pension. Damn, what if it was $58? I found the lens cap. Again, lens cap or not, you still need to have way more than that. What if I put on the table something I don't have? What's that? A gag reflex. Oh, hell yeah. Why didn't you say so? God damn it. What? I thought you felt bad for a minor offering head and just leave us alone. Minor? I thought you were 18. Thank God no one saw me agree to that. We have you on camera agreeing to that. Oh, damn. You're fucked, dude. Sorry. How was I supposed to know how old you are? You're a literal cop. You're supposed to ask for ID. Still want to keep that pension? Okay, okay. Let's not do anything hasty now. I, I don't need anything. You're both free to go. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, 
Wait. The fuck do you want, Chomo Cop? Can I still have the pizza? Yeah, here you go. <clears throat> Came for evidence, left with pizza. What are we gonna do when we're adults and can't pull that card anymore? I'm pretty sure a cop getting bribery head is illegal regardless of what age you are. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we gonna snort polio meds? Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom jeans, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. Why does it hit so fast when you start it? Fuck. Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes like an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. What the fuck? How does your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Like, none of their business shit it's really hitting now. Oh yeah, I feel it too. It's like... Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You wanna watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. We might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you wanna watch Mythbusters so bad? Uh, I don't know, it's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You wanna try a mystery pill? I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viked up, you're good. All right, fuck it, line it up. Is it good? Oh my god, oh my god, what did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for Betalock. Betalock? It should say what it's for, right? It says, use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. You had me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Missed that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How wound up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of a mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? Ugh, chest pains. One pill left, just gotta get up these stairs. The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh shit, hey mom, um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. I don't have time for excuses, just where's my beta lock? Beta lock, um, what do you need that for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Why is the bottle empty? Oh my fucking god, uh, Jekka was having a heart attack too. Oh god, everything's getting dark. Call 911! Okay, mom. Mom? What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? So, how was the funeral? When is expected. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Cause you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Nicole, this might be a weird question, but uh, 
Did you cry at all after your mom died? No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? You seriously need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this gonna be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Can it be both? I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. It's a. Uh, it's like a nonprofit. A nonprofit what? A nonprofit charity. A nonprofit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical nonprofit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long, I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> so then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, Mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. Good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students! We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. 
You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks, with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> Okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> Hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shakeups? Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag! They're gonna kill you if they find out! 
How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany! Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for! Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are so numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? <laughs> Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, I, I, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I P. Hundred bucks in a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected... you. Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. No, I only have three. All the signatures are different, different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. 
Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. What, you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my bae putty, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Oh, so you in school or... Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. 
Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No. Just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. In the... You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken-ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? Is get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. What? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. 
Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good. Take it easy, man. Holy fuck. Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Here, take my watch. Just put the knife away. Just put the knife away. 